What's up, folks? This episode of the Smoking Tire Podcast is brought to you by Policy Genius. Listen up. Insurance sucks. We just It just does. There's no way around the fact that insurance sucks. Your home insurance, your car insurance, your renter's insurance, your health insurance, maybe you got pet insurance, maybe even disability insurance. It's a lot to keep track of, right? Policy Genius makes it easy. They bring it all into one place, combining a cutting-edge insurance marketplace with help from licensed experts to save you time and money. Policy Genius saves their home and auto customers an average of $1,000 a year by reshopping all their rates. All you have to do is go to policygenius.com and ask her a few uh, basic questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius does the rest. They compare rates from over 30 top insurers, from progressive to nationwide and more, to find the lowest quotes. The licensed experts will look at all the ways to maximize your saving, including bundling, home and auto policy, and more. If Policy Genius finds a better rate than what you're paying, they will get you switched for free. That kind of service has earned Policy Genius a five star rating across over 1,600 reviews on Trustpilot and Google. So, if you're a homeowner, head over to PolicyGenius.com right now to get started. They've saved their home and auto insurance customers an average of $1,000 a year by reshopping. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. And we're also brought to you by Off the Record, the official legal services provider of the Smoke and Tire podcast. Look, having an attorney ready when you get pulled over, because let's be honest, if you're listening to this podcast, it's just a matter of time until you get pulled over. And you're going to need to have that. Like the average person gets pulled over like once every three years, right? But we're car enthusiasts. You get pulled over like it's probably more like a 1.5, maybe two years at the most. Maybe you get pulled over in your hometown and your best friend is the local ticket attorney. Well, I can't argue with that. But what if your pullover happens 10 states away from your house and it's a mandatory appearance? You need off the record. You got to have this in your pocket so that when you get pulled over, you don't freak out. You know that off the record really just is going to handle this transaction because that's what it is. It's a transaction, right? Speeding enforcement is about cash generation. And there's a, there's a whole economy about it with the insurance companies and the, the municipalities. It's all to extract money from you for just going to work. And off the record has an excellent success rate matching you with local attorneys that are qualified to take your case and keep those points off the record. Two ways to do it, guys. Go to offtherecord.com slash TST. That's offtherecord.com slash TST, and you get 10% off any of the services at Off The Record. Or download the Off The Record app for iOS and Android and enter code TST10. That's code TST10. 10% off all legal services that you book through Off the Record. It's good service run by good people, folks, and we endorse them for getting your ass out of trouble. (laughs) On this episode of the Smoking Tire Podcast, Johnny Lieberman is in studio. We're talking about the uh, Ram uh, TRX. We are talking about Tesla. I think Johnny and I drink a bunch of whiskey and fight about Tesla. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun one. We yell at each other about Tesla a lot. It was recorded a couple of uh, weeks ago. We, we had some timely ones. So things that we discuss may not be current to today. Uh, they happened a couple of weeks ago. But it will be a good-ass time because of Johnny Lieberman on the Smoke and Tire podcast with a cheap bottle of whiskey. Fucking happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Do days have meaning Woo. anymore? No, L'chaim. not really. Nice to see you. L'chaim L'chaim L'chaim. Yeah. Mm. And Johnny, in proper form, has brought us a bottle. Yes, a bottle with a story. JTS Brown. The Brown. What is the story of JTS Brown? Is this uh, Emmett Brown ancestor? Is that why we're talking about this? No, okay. I doubt it. Um, they were the Von Brauns, anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> wrong Browns. Um, the story of this is, so I got this buddy, Bill, Bill Bender. And uh, if you guys are on your phones looking at Instagram, follow Bill Bender, because he's really, all he does is smoke cigars and drink whiskey and play golf. He's amazing. My kind of guy. He's basically Chevy Chase from Caddyshack. With the greatest beard. He has, he has like, uh, it's like a Babylonian beard. I'm so <laughs> like, like. Gandalf? 
No, no, no. Like better. It's like it's it's like Hammurabi's beard. It's, oh, it's like a beehive. It's oh, so yeah. good. Like where it goes out past the, the no, width of the head. It's like it's like the curves. It's like he could win a beard contest. Mm, you know mm-hmm, what I mean? It's mm-hmm, it's like like mm-hmm. I never have beard envy, and this guy's beard. Like Zach, could you could you pull it? It's Bill Bender three. I think his name is. Musto told me he beard oils his face every day. Yeah, I mean you know, that's why his shit is so fucking flowing. You got to do something if if you got that beard. <laughs> I mean, his is like he's it's got crazy. racing stripes on his. No, his beard like is a Shelby. Basically. No, it's crazy. His yeah. beard's crazy. <laughs> of course, it is. It's, it's like, like a, Bill Bender. Bender, B I N D, and I, I think Bill was like an amateur baseball player or something. But of anyhow, course he was. anyhow, legendary but, man. He's a great guy. <laughs> friend of mine, good friend of mine. Anyhow, lives in Florida. I was down in Florida visiting, and I have this other friend, Drew. Who just bought a Ferrari Daytona because he's a mm. he's one of them. Because he's a G. Blue, blue. No, he's not. He's, I mean, you're at least half G if you buy a Ferrari <laughs> Daytona. It's he's not just, a cheap car. He, he's had like Countach's Testarossas, and he's like, I want something cooler. Listen, so he that bought, sounds like a G. Yeah. If I'm honest, all right, don't be all, right. all like, no, this is definitively not a G. Jew. But I by thought, the way, I thought you said Jew. <laughs> oh, a Jew? <laughs> yeah, no, that's definitely decidedly not non-Jew yeah, yeah, behavior. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. No, my yeah, car yeah. spending is definitely on my Arab <laughs> side, <laughs> and not <laughs> and not my Jew side. Fair enough. Anyhow, anyhow, so. Drew moved from L.A. to Florida, mm-hmm. and he, we're going to smoke cigars and drink whiskey at his house. Mm-hmm. Drew's the guy who brainwashed me into caring about whiskey. And I'm like, hey, my buddy Bill lives a few miles away. Let's have Bill over. So Drew busts out, like, the big baller whiskey bottles. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like, $10,000 bottles of bourbon. Like, yeah. Stuff that, stuff that I'll never get to drink again as long as I live. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, we're polishing them off. Bill shows up with this, the J, the brown, as we call it. The JW's this brown. This is called, it's got a nickname. This the is brown. the brown. We just say the brown. Now, Bill's going to also kill me because if this gets out, anyhow. All so, of a sudden, this sit's going to be, after this podcast, you know this is going to be like, this is going to go up, right? I don't think you can get it anywhere but Kentucky. Oh. so Or something like that. Anyhow, so we put this in there. It's like the third or fourth you know, whiskey we're drinking. Uh-huh. It's a big night. And it fits in with all these like super crazy you know, whiskeys. And we're looking at the label. We're like, it's not very expensive. It's got a plastic gold top. Yeah. Right? This so, top is, is shared with uh, Jacqueen's vodka. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, so after we're, I mean, again, we're drinking baller, uh, like crazy unicorn whiskey. And this, it, it was totally good. So. <clears throat> it, it's totally good right now, so by the way. guess the price. And hint, you're way too high. Yeah. I mean, now that you've primed yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. Cut that in half. Fuck out of here. Cut that in half. Yeah. And here's six dollars change because it's fourteen bucks a bottle. Get out of here. I swear to God. Oh man, you can bring me this shit anytime. This is good. <laughs> I got a special order. It's the problem. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. like the wine in South Africa where it's very cheap if you're standing right there, but right. to get it here <laughs> yes. is a whole different <laughs> yeah. story. Exa- <laughs> well, I, f- I can't say where because I think it's technically illegal, but I have a. Hookup. Well, this bottle looks like it was made in somebody's garage, but yeah. it's well, delicious. Well, no, it's, it's Heaven Hill, right? It's it's it's. Uh, What's it, what else does Heaven Hill do? Uh, Elijah Craig. Oh, I mean, okay. all kinds of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, yeah. So the brown. So uh, this is like my- I mean, dude. I buy this. I buy it by the case. A case is, I think, 12. I don't know if that's actually a case, but I buy 12 at the time. And I just give them out. It's really good. (laughs) It's great. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah. This is like the, it's like the other end of the spectrum from the Boss Hog you gave me for my birthday. Yeah, well, I think it's better than the Boss Hog, actually. I'd have to drink them back to back. Are you listening, Whistle Pig? I will need a bottle of Boss Hog (laughs) for comparison. (laughs) The Boss Hog came from that guy, Drew. Right. With the Daytona Ferrari. Oh, okay. So that's, Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. This is he's not, he's not Drew Estate Cigars, is it? No. Okay. No. Is, that's a thing, though, right? Drew that, Estate yeah, Cigars. Drew yeah. Estate, yeah. 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 No, this is a different Drew. Well, we, this is, I, I call him Booze Drew. I mean, for yeah. uh, for the price, for the price can't of fucking a beat it. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hundred proof. It's not like it's like yeah. eighty proof. It's like, like hundred proof. Amer- I, let's let's hope that like America's homeless don't learn about this because if they find out. <laughs> this is the price of this the whatever they've been drinking. Oh boy. Yeah, you know, and are, again, it's we're, not we're it's not for How do I put this? It's not exceptional, you know, but good, for the man. price, it's, especially with a rock. Remember when I was all I'm going to put a rock in this and you primed me for like being like, ah, oh, maybe maybe not. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> this do whatever no, you want. Good. Add diet coke. I put I, don't I put care. rocks in my expensive shit because <sighs> that's how I like to drink it. No, sorry, that's not an sorry. argument for another day, but don't do that. I think it's You're... an argument for right now. You want to do it <laughs> <Yeah>. right now? <laughs> <clears throat> well, again, like I just think with single barrel stuff, meaning uh-huh. there's one barrel on the fucking planet. 
right? Yes. Next to the other barrels, they're made from the same stuff. But they mm-hmm. taste different because the, the tree grew in a different mm-hmm. spot or, you know, they, they use different trees. Each barrel is a totally unique thing. So one bottle is going to yield like, or one barrel, excuse me, is going to yield 80 bottles. Right. That's it. The whole universe. That's all the, yeah. there will ever so. be. And then you like water it down. <laughs> yes, but here's the thing, Johnny. When I water it down with, with this cube. No, don't do it. This cube <laughs> is the same size every time from my freezer. It's the same water. It's the same but, size. But, it's a control sample. Right. That's like when I drive no. sports cars, Johnny. Man, when man, I drive a sports man. car and I go and I go to the camera, right, this sports car is very light. And mm. people go, it doesn't matter that it's very light because you're a fat fuck. And I go, <laughs> now there, that's true, except it's not because I am consistently fat from car to car. Instantly, <laughs> but what you're doing every experience, no, no, I, I you don't. like the kilogram thing I'm that's in that vat, yes, <laughs> the French yes, kilogram. Yes, yes. Yeah. No. I am exactly 255 pounds, whether I'm driving this, a Lotus, or a Suburban. God, I'm getting so. You know, I'm like 249. <laughs> is that? Are you? Is that going? I, I'm down. gaining weight, you're, but I'm but you're working muscle. out. I guess I don't. I don't know. I just if feel, we cross, yeah. If I, I, I could, I could weigh my more than adult you. low ever is yeah. two. The, the old, the uh, the lightest I've ever been. Two thousand nine yeah. was two forty eight. Okay, I'm two. I'm, I was two forty nine the other. I was two fifty one the other day, but I think I was wearing a shirt or something. Are you? Do you weigh yourself every day? No. Okay. No, but I weigh my kid a lot. So when I'm weighing him, <laughs> no. I'm like, let's see how fat I am. Oh God. Yeah. Hannah, um, Hannah anyhow, weighs he, our cats by holding them and standing on the scale. We used to do that with a kid. Now he can say, but so you're wrong, and here's why. Here's why. Here's why. That, For putting I, I, ice in my yeah, smell. yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're actually doing is you're ballasting the cars with not you with something else, and then getting in them. So the the full flavor you could be getting, mm-hmm. you're literally watering it down. That's where the term comes from. It's watered down. So yeah. you're just reducing the flavor. Mm. Yeah, but, but that's okay. But it makes it more bearable. Because sometimes if the flavor, <laughs> yeah, sometimes if the flavor is way too intense, but you add a little water, you're like you still taste the right. essence of it. No, no f- fuck the essence. No, no, no. You're watering <laughs> it down. You want the full flavor, uh, and just drink more bourbon, and then you, it, nothing will bother you. I know that's, that's true. That's, just that's, singe my entire esophagus. Yeah, with raw if you drink alcohol. scotch, bourbon tastes like syrup. Yeah, mm. yeah, and, and, and again, scotch, as I always point out, is made in used bourbon barrels. So if you don't like flavor, drink scotch. But if you like flavor, bourbon. You <laughs> oh man, Scotland just wood. got pissed. I prefer yeah. bourbon. <laughs> yeah, but people, but what, what happens when you open a shop? Uh, people bring you bottles. Sure. So people have been really, really dropping off. I've had to expand. I now have a second locker. <laughs> <laughs> and, and again, look, Scotch has had great marketing, and Bourbon hasn't had such good marketing. Uh, so really? people, people are so yeah. I mean, people associate like single malt, which literally just means it's made from barley. Um, single malt oh, yeah. Scotch with like the good life, and it's like sure you can you can. I think bourbon scotch. has really, uh, not from a marketing perspective, but from the editorial side mm. of it, been much appreciated in the last five years. Like, I'm swallowing, but absolutely yes. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But again, if you're going to get someone a gift, people tend to go get a bottle of Macallan mm-hmm. rather than a bottle of Elijah Craig. Well, that's why people drive 911s instead of Lotus <laughs> Avora f- yes. for the same reason. That's why people buy Rolexes instead of the Sin U1, yes. which is a fucking dope watch. Thank you. You know, so here's it's the other- perfectly you. Well, I just got another one. Another Sin? Yeah, but it, 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 it's arriving today by 8 p.m. I was, like, I was all excited. It was DHL, yeah, Internacional. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get no. that email where it clears customs. Ooh, yeah. No, it, 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 this company I buy from, I think they're called Watch Buys, but they, uh, they're they in the U.S. and okay, they have cool. German ship. They ship in two days. It's amazing. Um, but God bless. Yeah, so, but this one I bought. Uh, uh, so since I've seen you, my mother and my best friend have died. <sighs> I'm um, sorry, dude. Yeah, oh my God. Sucks. I'm sorry. Um, so this is like my commemorative. But what's funny was so when my mom died, I'm inheriting some money. And my best friend was like, don't spend it on a fucking watch. So now I'm so now spending some watch. of it. It's not that much. But you could, can you buy it, spend it on the Porsche that you got when your other friend died? <laughs> I hate to laugh at uh, that. No, it's like, funny. <laughs> maybe you could combine combine into one. Uh, no. Well, I've, I've, I've spent plenty on that Porsche. <laughs> and, and one year, it will it will be ready. I don't know what that year is, but one year. Yeah, one year. Okay, so uh, what is the watch? The sin, which sin? It's a sin. It's called the. It's got a great name. You ready? Yeah. Okay, it's the one hundred and three oh. Ti Daipal. Wow. Yeah. Zach, can you remember that? Yeah. The one hundred and three Ti Daipal. Sin S I N N. Yeah. 
is the name of the watch. They're from Germany. Yeah. I want to see a picture of it. So it says SIN 103 TI. If you just type that in, it'll come. TI. TI. Sounds like a graphing calculator. Uh, so it, it is not that link. The link below it. Yeah, that's the one. Di- what does diapal stand for? Okay, TI stands for titanium. Yes, that I got. Diapal stands oh. for... The lubricant-free anchor escapement. Oh, it's a special kind of escapement. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so... That's when you get into real watch nerdery. So it's supposed to... A normal watch, which has, uh, you know, lube on the jewels... Uh, you have to adjust it every five years, uh-huh. and this one supposedly goes every 10 years plus. Oh, 10-year service life. Yeah. Okay. Plus, five-year warranty. It has uh, dehumidifying technology. What it stores that? cigars in it. So <laughs> there's, no, there's no moisture inside of it. Uh, so, like, if you do a massive temperature change, it won't fog up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Plus, Sapphire I think it's, I think it's really bitching looking. It's cool. It's looking. a nice looking, yeah, chronograph, yeah. three-registered chronograph with a date. It's got a nice, uh, oh, it's got a reverse bezel. Okay, cool. Reverse 60-minute bezel. Yeah, same kind of That's bezel as cool. this. It only ratchets one way, but yeah. it's super precise. And then do you see above it, Zach, there's the three circles. One of them's black right now and two. Yeah, so if we hit that, it'll show you the back. Oh, open display back. Yeah, Very nice. Sapphire on the back. It looks, uh, yeah. wow. It, well, Sin look. makes really nice stuff. That, the, the, it the looks German, like a Weiss watch uh, on the back, and it looks like a Rolex on the front. To me. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, so I just kind of Very fell nice in love piece. with this watch. And then I have this evil friend, Rob, on Instagram who talked me into it. Who Check this out. He's like, let's make a, I don't know what you call it, a tontaine or whatever, some kind of agreement where if one of us buys it at any point, the other has to buy it immediately. <laughs> Right? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I like this. So I bought it. If I ever it. did that, I'd immediately be the, I'd be the first. I'd buy it right away. <laughs> Fuck you now. <laughs> so I bought it, and I, I said, you know, I said we had our little code. Our little code is uh, the watermelon icon. Don't, uh-huh. don't ask. So, you know, I sent him the watermelon. He's like, dude, there was only one. You <sighs> bought it. <laughs> it's like, so I'm buying this other one. Okay. So, Fair. Yeah. That's but, nice. So it comes on today? How exciting. Yeah. I, was, I, I wanted to have it for the show, but it's not there. Are you going to stick with that rubber strap? I can see all kinds oh, of good opportunities for straps. It actually on comes this. on a titanium. Uh, bracelet. Oh, cool. Yeah. Th- so on Sin's website, they just kind of circulate the straps. Yeah. Um, but I bought a gray uh, NATO strap like this one. Is that like a 42, 43, something like that? I think it's a 41. As if cool. you hit technical details, Zach. That's very nice. Yeah. And I like it very much. Down. 25 joules, 41 millimeters. Okay, the cool. The only thing Ooh, I don't case like. Thickness, yeah, 17 that's the only, millimeters. So I, this is a chunka. So this, this one, is very chunka. This one, which is a chunker, this yeah. is like 14. So yes. I'm like, oh, I don't really want thicker than that. But. So the thing with chronographs is yeah. if you want a chronograph plus water resistance, yeah. this is where you get the chunka. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> but it's titanium, so it won't This rotating much. bezel feels good. So here's here's the thing. I, you know, I've been I've been doing the, the crown and caliber thing. Uh-huh. Um, like, Listen no, to this. All other bezels mm-hmm. suck compared to that bezel. It's sort of like, this is a real point of innovation these guys <laughs> came up with. <laughs> That's a good one. It's got just, a really satisfying sound. Yeah, like, like, put yours up to the mic. Mine doesn't, well, mine is a Rolex, but mine doesn't make any noise, really. It's a little bit, but it's you can hear it. It's not Germanic. Well, it gets quieter over time, I imagine, right? Like, the gears get a little roined down. The older ones, you hear more. This really? newer one has a quieter uh, thing to it. So oh. the older ones sound a little more like Johnny's, but not as, like, tough. Uh, yeah, my Seiko is... sounds like that. Yeah, Seiko's not not quite as precise as that one, but a similar satisfying brrrap, like ratchet, ra- a ratchet wind on the Seikos, yeah. I felt good because I was up with uh, Lucid, uh, the new mm-hmm. hot... Uh, shit electric car manufacturer. Can we discuss this? Yes, uh, absolutely. And, but I was with them at Laguna and their head of, I don't know, technology or something. I forget his title. This German guy. I always, I, I stole this from Angus, but I always say, like, if it's a new car company or if it's like a confused car company, like maybe Acura, let's say, <laughs> what kind of watch are you? In other words, like, Mercedes Benz is Rolex. Not meaning Porsche's that they're Rolex, sponsored. But okay. Well, but if you, if you ask a normal person on the street, name a luxury car, Mercedes yeah. Benz. Name a luxury watch, Rolex. You yeah. know what I mean? Who are you? And so this guy, who's wearing a beautiful IWC, he looks at me and goes, Via Zin. <laughs> and I go, he goes, do you know Sin? I go, do I know Sin? And he goes, yeah, we're ruthless innovation. Good. Yeah. And then he spent 20 minutes telling me about the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the headlights. What do I need They're to know about them? They're so sharp. They actually have to like unfocus them a little bit because otherwise it's weird. Like to have, they have such a sharp Are break. they laser? Yeah, but it's like a hundred laser images 
superimposed on each other mm-hmm. and focused. And they were just saying that, like, if you actually use this light at night in full focus, the shadow is so shocking that it, it, it just you, you see things weird. Uh-huh. So the, the, they're like, all other headlights you have to focus, ours you have to unfocus. How interesting. Yeah. And he- headlight technology seems like it could take a break. Like, <laughs> I, I'm just seeing really bright headlights. I'm like, we're good. And then, like, next year, more lasers. Like, we're, we're working on well, something else. Well, I mean, I like the you, ones that I hear about that block off the oncoming oh, the, I was going to say, cars. Dri- like that. I've tech- never driven one that had those. Hey, what does it co- do? Okay, so it's full brights all the time, basically. And then if it sees another car's headlights, it just turns off the lasers or the LEDs that would blind the other car. So wow. it's like you have like a thousand LEDs pointing, you know, a, a 300, what, 180 degrees or whatever it is. Um, no, I guess it'd be 180. Whatever. The full the front. Thing. Yeah, all the front. of the front. So yes. the stuff that would blind the oncoming car. But even better, when the camera sees a, uh, like a, a freeway exit sign, mm-hmm. it then like doubles up and like illuminates the sign. Like, like shines up? A, a spotlight. Wherever. Whoa. Sick. Wherever. Yeah. That's the sickest shit it's, ever. It's great. It illuminates signs yeah. that it sees? Yeah. And, and by the way, every country in the world now has this except for the U.S. What? What? Okay. Why, because you would be the person to know this, why does the U.S. not get on board with the awesome headlights? We just have antiquated laws, and it's like, you know how they can't, like, you know how, like, everyone's been out of work for nine months and they can't give them any money? Like, headlights are so low priority. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is a good point. Yeah. So good point. we're working on the second twelve hundred dollars right now. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah. After nine months. After nine months, and everyone's we're thinking maybe their we can up this to twenty four hundred. No, not gonna happen. In time for the eviction so, notice. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah, so if you submit a patent for laser lights here, they're like, now what kind of kerosene does this particular light? <laughs> work I mean, off this, of? this goes back so far. You know, like the Citroen SM, right? Had the killer lights in Europe and everywhere else, and then here. They, they took off the glass nacelle and they put mm-hmm. on those horrible American lights because we had these stupid headlight laws. <coughs> and we're just behind the times on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I, could, I could go on on bad laws. But uh, anyways, laser lights are super cool. But the Lucid, super cool. They just innovated everywhere. And, and not yeah. like, yes, it makes 1,000 or th- excuse me, 1,080 horsepower with an over 500-mile range, which is insane. Um, it's got like 8,000 pounds. No, it doesn't weigh them. It's just super efficient. That they miniaturized everything. Like the motor mm-hmm. is the motor with the the drivetrain and the inverter or something. It's like a little box and it weighs. It weighs like a hundred pounds. The hundred Kamisa had a photo of him pounds. holding it and it the, yeah, he, he was holding an empty box. I, oh really? Jason was not oh, okay. holding anything in one arm that weighs 164 pounds. But <laughs> I love Jason, but that was bullshit. Anyhow, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's you could you could pick it up. You know, it's it's, mm-hmm. it's a thing you could pick up. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just miniaturized. It's also nine hundred volts, so it's just like ruthlessly efficient. Nine hundred volts. Yeah. So it's wow. like it's a yeah it's, a, it's a, just a battery technology. So it's like a Tesla is four hundred volts. Yeah. Porsche, Tycon eight hundred volts. Yeah. This is nine hundred. This volts. is nine hundred. What do you get for the extra hundred horsepower? Okay. Yeah, and fast charging time. You get everything. It's just by making it, by chasing Shit efficiency. Shit flows in and out that much faster, right? That's yeah. What, that's what volts, volts is. Volts is like the size of the, the hose was the analogy, right? Yeah. So volts is the, the diameter of the, the hose. The diameter of the hose. Yeah. 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 So, but they just miniaturized, yeah, you can see in that picture there, they just miniaturized everything. That's like, funny. Like that, the, that looks like the fucking gas engine from the <laughs> patent motor wagon. <laughs> it looks like a flat <laughs> or something, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, it was funny because I interviewed the CEO Peter Rawlinson, who it was the you know former uh, head of the Model S for Tesla, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And used to work at Lotus, used to work at Jaguar. Um, but he was like, he's like, look, the problem with you journalists is all you care about is the fact that it makes a thousand and eighty horsepower. And no, we don't. That's what YouTube audiences care about. Well, don't confuse the shit. <laughs> and 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 the range, but what you're missing out on is the efficiency story. That we're just like mm-hmm. so much more efficient. And and you know, I'll just this is what he told me. You know, uh, we can go 517 miles on our battery pack, and that's 17 percent more than at the time uh, the long range Model S could go. How is many like, kilowatts is the battery pack? It's only like 93 or okay, so it's like the same it's as a, like Tycon or Tesla. Yeah, but he's saying like so for like he's, there's. 17% more efficient than a Tesla. Well, that so, is substantially more efficient. Yeah, except, well, Tesla on battery day, now I'm saying go 520. That's all. Anyhow, but his point yeah, was... Yeah, well, then, you know. But his point was, by being more efficient, if Tesla wants to go the same range, they have to add 17% more battery. Uh-huh. And if they want to go the same as a Tesla, they can actually remove 17%, lower the cost, and you get the same product. Blah, blah. Mm. This seems like the next 
step in the efficiency of packaging and just uh, battery technology for cars, right? I mean, it, like when Tesla did it, they were really good at some of their controllers were really, really efficient and special. And then Lucid's doing the same thing. And that's why it has like, it has the frunk and then it has the trunk. And then both of them have like that lower shelf because they were able to package everything in the wheel wells. This is a good picture, actually. So not only do they have that, so this is what the actual production car looks like. So, so the, we're looking the, at a picture of like the skateboard, as the you would skateboard. call it. Yeah. And now if you want on like the super <laughs> luxury version, those are four battery packs. So the floorboard doesn't cover them up. And you, uh -huh. can, you can actually remove those and then you get like crazy leg room if you oh, want, like if you, deeper foot wells yeah and oh, you'd lose cool. like whatever that is like you'd lose like 10 percent of the range yeah. but 10 percent of 517 is like 460. did you, you know? sit in the thing yeah how's the seat how's it, the comfort levels well I, okay well i it was like a show car i went around yeah, yeah, yeah. in it you know so it's like it's like a show car like don't don't rock anything too hard because it's not it's not production <laughs> yeah yet. but Super cool interior design. They, what they did that I liked was the front half is uh, oh yeah is like super dark colors, uh -huh. and then the rear is super light colors. And their their thinking was like when you're driving, you want to be in a cockpit, and when you're in the back, you want to be in like in a lounge and relaxing. Uh, that's not a terrible. It's not idea. a terrible idea. No, that's interesting. It looks pretty good. Man. And does it yeah. work? And then what's cool right there? You see, it says Santa Monica. So yeah. the, they have five different. The the guy. Uh, oh God, uh, Derek, I'm blanking oh, out his last name. I hate two spokes. Steering wheels so much. Why do they do that? I don't know. But so, oh, the two you can see there the different, the different interior colors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Derek, I That's can't weird. The front seats are black in the front and white in the back. And then the back seats, the door cards are sliced in half. Yeah, and half is black and half is white. It's they really commit to that transition. They huh? do, and they have five different <clears throat> color schemes. And it, what's cool is, and I'm a lifelong Californian, so I like this. And so is the designer Derek, who does he? I'm blanking on his last name, but he designed the the current Miata. Wait, Derek, isn't that the dude who has the fucking the, crazy the Manx buggy. buggy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I see him. that guy all the time. I, I'm blanking on his last name. Derek, I don't know. His like, Instagram is Derek PCH. Yeah, though, yeah. He and lives he has in Malibu. The sickest Manx buggy in the world that ever existed. Too. Yeah, so I follow him on Instagram, Zach. If you want to find his Manx buggy, so all five of the um, the interior specs are different Derek parts. Jenkins, of, Jenkins, is his last thank name, you. Yeah. I said Jay, uh, but it's different parts of California. So he's got Santa Monica, he's got Santa Cruz, he's got you know what I mean. So it's yeah. it's cool. It's all California inspired, which is super cool. And he's at Cars and Coffee every Sunday. There's uh, his Manx buggy right yeah, there, yeah, which yeah. is full carbon. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the whole body is carbon fiber, and it's it's extreme. Oh, I guess he's doing an I guess he's doing an engine out. Yeah, he's oh he's got a little Euro van in the background there with Porsche wheels on it. Cool, he's a good dude. Yeah, Even this though guy. I can't remember his we name. should have this dude on the you podcast. You should have. I him. should just DM him. I see this guy around like all the time. Oh, there's a better picture of the buggy. That thing fucking rocks. It doesn't look like I don't I don't know if there's there's I bet you there's probably no no actual. Anything left? It's just a tube frame. Well, those no are, idea. My friend that used to uh, work at Volks Cafe, they they would autocross campaign one of those with like a built motor, and it would lift the front wheels uh, on launch, and it was running like a one point nine zero to sixty. Sick. Yeah, it's crazy. Have you seen just real change subject? Have you seen that dude who's doing the LS swap bug, and he's like it's a wheelie thing. That it's sounds four like wheelies, a good time. like it's like a wheelie in car, like a like I, they have it like exhibitions. No, he just made a crazy like bug that does wheelies. Well, he, that sounds fun. Yeah, I understand that completely. I can't remember if it's on. Uh, if it's on it might be on William Walker's <laughs> Instagram account. But if you go to if you went nuts. to like English Town back in the day, there'd be you know the top fuel guys racing, and then they'd have like the Truckzilla thing. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The school bus with the jet fire, and then they'd have some wheelie cars that would do the full quarter mile doing wheelies. I don't think this would do a full quarter mile, but it's like a six hundred horsepower <laughs> bug with a wide track. That the guy just wheelies. I, I mean, it sounds like a death trap. Yeah, I don't think. Oh, I, don't, like, I don't think Williams posted him yet. He showed me the picture on his phone. It's freaking nuts. There's a couple. Uh, it's a total death trap. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Yeah. EV West's uh, lifted Baja bug was definitely death, death trap with a Tesla motor in the back. Oh yeah, and it wasn't LS. Tor it wasn't LS fast, but it was fast no, enough. No, but Tesla well, fast is Tesla fast. Is yeah. Good, yeah, in but, a car that weighs two thousand pounds. But back to Lucid for a sec. Sorry, so yeah. I was up there because there were they have a tri motor car, which they won't even tell me the horsepower, but it could be two thousand because their regular one is two motors. The, the regular, regular one's car two. Yeah. And I think they're going to do a single motor to get it under like seventy grand or something, uh -huh. which will be six hundred and seventy horsepower or something. Um, but so 
you know, the, the motor's capable of 670, so if you have three of them, that's 2,010 horsepower. And they made a wide that, body. I mean, is that how it works? This may be dumb, but if you just, if you literally have two of these, yeah. do you just add up the power and that's it? Uh, or is there a more I, complex formula? There's a that? much more complex. Here's the thing. While <clears throat> their motors are capable of 670 for that car, uh, the air, they limit them to 540. Uh-huh. They, they're capable of 640, but they pro, pro, program, uh, programmatically to get the range they want. Yeah, and, uh, of course. They, they, they dial them back. But yeah. you could pop them up. And um, so I, I don't know what they were running with their tri-motor. It doesn't even have a name yet. It, it was it was a shell. I mean, they, they literally had, like, boxes for ballast in the front because they had, they had no interior. It had a Cadillac steering wheel because when they built the mule— uh, they didn't have steering wheels yet, you know. I mean, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. B- but that said, like it ran uh, a one thirty one at Laguna, which is like you know. Uh, doesn't the ACR? Didn't the Viper ACR do a thirty three? Uh, n- well, no, it did like a, a, a Randy got like a twenty nine or something like that. But but the point is, it's a five thousand pound yeah. sled. Yeah. And no, and, there was and, a Viper one thirty three edition of yeah, the yeah, last that was gen the Viper. That was the TA. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The P yeah. one ran a one thirty one eight, I think. A which fucking like, P one, yeah. and this motherfucker's doing it five thousand yeah. pounds. That's crazy. And and b- the Although guys. Panama Driving. Turbo did a 729 at yeah. the Nurburgring, oh, which is getting bananas. <laughs> but but the guy, this thing was like barely tuned. The guys driving are the engineers. Yeah, yeah. You know, like they're yeah. like they're you know, I, not that I know how to go on a Laguna that well, but I've sat in the passenger seat as Randy does it, mm-hmm. and I'm like, oh, leaving five seconds or not? Five, leave it a second there, leave it a half second there. You know, they just don't they don't take the racing the rate the pro driver line. Yeah, yeah. There's where, a suicide line around the track. <laughs> there is. There's a line where <laughs> two wheels are always off, off. the track. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was I was telling the guy, I'm like, look, in turn six, you see that green cement <laughs> on the wrong side of the rumble strips. That's, that's cement. Where, that's drivers, the line. Yeah. Yes. Drivers, anywhere you put cement down or pavement down, yes. they drive on it. You yeah. Know, like you go inside the corkscrew now. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. The Zanardi line is yeah. just the line. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so the thing was crazy. And then they, they popped off a 9 2 quarter mile. Oh, my it. God. That's fucking boogieing. On. The wrong tires. They had it on the the standard tires. The one that I was going around Laguna was that car with like wide had like three twenty fives instead That's of two eighty five. Awesome. So it's going to be a cool company. They they got to start selling cars. Yeah, but I feel like I, I I I feel like what I've seen of them I liked. Yeah, they keep inviting. I got invited to whatever it was you got invited to. You should have gone. And I fun. Well, I just don't have the time if I'm not driving the goddamn car. You're I not can't. driving the goddamn car. That's what I said. Yeah. I said call. I said please, please, please call me when I can drive the car. Right, right, right. right. And I just don't have the fucking time if I'm not driving the car. Right, right, right. I don't have a magazine to write a story interview with. The, right, right, right. You know what I mean? Although it was, you would have liked it. I mean, I'm telling you, everything. I'm sure I would have liked it. it. Has nothing to do with liking it. <laughs> I can't just do shit I like. I have you to do could, shit I can earn while. money doing. Ah, once in a while. But the other thing that was cool was they're all giant watch nerds. Um, see, now we're talking. Yeah. So I don't know if this is on. I can just say it because who cares if I get in trouble for this. But anyways. I can't imagine. If, whatever you're going to say is going to matter. It won't. I don't think it will. But anyways, if they have an IPO, because right now they're uh-huh. it's Saudi money. If they have an IPO, they're all going to some like vintage watch store in Silicon Valley to celebrate the IPO. Everyone's like buying something cool. So, really? So I was like, I want to be there for that. Where they're going? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Um, but Probably I'm like, HQ Milton. Yeah, which is by by where Bring a Trailer headquarters is. I believe that's correct. Yeah. But, but you need an appointment. Don't just show up there, folks. You got to make an appointment. Well, to they go to will that place. make. I guarantee they'll make an appointment. No, the lucid people <laughs> will. I'm talking about the the fans uh, uh, that are going to all sorry, all sorry, are going to start sorry, googling sorry. HQ Milton. Yeah, because you need an appointment to go. Yeah. I tried to walk in. Doesn't work. Oh, that's that's that's. <laughs> I like places like that. Yeah, <laughs> they tell you to fuck off. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, like, they're like total like crazy watch geeks. It was really fun. Except I would for like Derek. To go talk to them about watches. Yeah, except for Derek, the designer who actually wears an Apple Watch. He's the only one. That makes sense. He would. Well, I I always think designers are going to have the kookiest watches, but he well he either they do or right, they're, right, they they right, want right. to be connected to their CAD and their jobs and their yeah. tech and stuff. Yeah, no, like I mean, Mark Newson, very you know, designer yeah. of the designer of the Apple Watch, right. also designed some cars, designed plenty of industrial products, and the uh, the Icopod, which I have and love very much. I yeah. was looking at Apple Watches last night. I'm afraid you were because I was looking for something. I need a watch that I can wear. On, like at work because uh-huh. you know the weiss one i had i probably like sweat into too much mm-hmm. so i was like all right it'd be cool to have one that's like 
you know, can have maps on it and has an altimeter and all these, so I can wear it backpacking and stuff. Yeah. And all the ones that can do that are really, really expensive. And a lot of the reviews were like, just not as good Apple as an Watch. Apple Watch. It's also more like, um, well, I'll say two like a Garmin one yeah. that's really good, but it's $300 more than an Apple Watch. And the only thing it has on it really is the battery lasts longer, which it does. And it's well, that might be the most important thing. Yeah. Because I, was, I have an Apple Watch, which I have, all I use it for is to find my iPhone. Cause <laughs> That's hilarious. It's got a thing and it makes the iPhone beep because mm-hmm. I lose my phone. Um, but the battery lasts 24 hours. See, that sucks. That's yeah. a problem. That really sucks. You got to take it off. And you, the thing. You gotta, yeah. I think we need to handle your watch situation with something more appropriate I for work. I think the Garmin is actually the, Garmin's the way really to go. sick. Everyone no, I know I mean, like has a real watch, not the not well, a but hang computer. On. But, but I know people like, I like, 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 like Devereaux, for instance. Pat Devereaux has a Garmin and like he just says it's the greatest thing. So, not uh, And I actually think for a digital watch, it looks really cool. It does. Yeah, it. I'm not going to do it. You don't have to do it, but if Zach wants he, one, Zach can he, do whatever he, he wants. Can, you know, but if he goes Apple Watch, if he goes wrist. Apple Watch, we're never yeah. going to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> this team, this, no, he's off our team at that point. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, we're not going to see him on this side. I got mine free. Audi gave it to me. So, <laughs> Audi has tried to yeah, give actually, me. Actually, Audi gave you one too. You were with me. Yeah, and I gave it away on Instagram. Oh, did you? Okay. I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Well, I kept mine. I and all That's I use fine. it for is to check the. I don't judge people for keeping it, but I I, I like to give it away. It's I was fun. excited for two days, and then I'm like, it doesn't do anything, and uh, I don't really care how many steps I've taken. <laughs> right. And oh, if I keep it next to my bed in the same spot on the charger, I can find my iPhone whenever I want. That's, so that's hilarious. Great. At first, I thought that new EKG thing was really cool, but I I read a story this morning that the your the, insurance rates go up. No, <laughs> that like it's not particularly accurate, and like uh, a bunch of people are going to the doctor thinking they have heart problems right. only to be like yeah, actually your apple watch <laughs> kind of sucks at this compared to a proper ek see i knew <laughs> yeah who i d- thought it I, d- I do worry though about like wearable technology where like they're now they're, they're just doing it so they can get even more data and like well, why did my medical right. insurance rates spike? It's Absolutely. like, oh, well, you know, your, your watch. They tried to get me to do that fucking dongle in your car thing for oh, like, yeah. oh, we'll lower your rates. Fuck I was like, that. Mm, yeah. nah. Fuck Safe driver nah. How about a nah yeah. on that? How about you catch me, <laughs> motherfucker? Yeah, exactly. Um, so the loop, back to finish off yeah, Lucid, yeah, too, yeah. because we've we've now tangented a few ways. That's good. Um, yeah, who cares? That's what we do on the show. We tangent. Good. Um, when the fuck are they going to actually have a soon. car? It's actually like it's actually soon. I think I want to say like April of twenty one. You can get one delivered because you think so. I th- yeah. I mean, are they going to have dealers? Or no, they do a they're, Tesla they're thing? doing even better than Tesla. Like you don't even go to the Tesla store. You just order it up on the website and they drop it off your house. And if you have a problem, they like come to your house and fix it. Yeah, it's cheaper to buy a bunch of flatbeds than a bunch of service centers. Probably. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that <laughs> turns out that's probably right. probably very true. Yeah, yeah. but it's like, but at the same time, it's like if everyone's just sitting at home waiting on an Amazon package, like. No, it's not a terrible model. I mean, honestly, like, I, infinite roadside, like, all right, come fucking take it. See you later. Right, Bye. Right. Like, that's fine with me. But, but the other thing is, and you know this too, like electric cars, there's not much to break. There really isn't much to break. You know, there's, I yeah. mean, there's yeah, but few it's, moving parts. Consumer Reports just put out that thing. It was like people that own EVs are spending 50% on maintenance compared to people that own uh, combustion cars. Yeah. There's just well, no I mean, oil. that's prob- Yeah, I mean, you you just eliminate the cost of a lot of fluids. Totally. I yeah. mean, I, that's 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 a reality. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's one that we I think I remember we theorized a bit, but it's like, well, it's a new technology, maybe there'll be other problems and it's just if there aren't. Uh, I mean, yeah, there, I think yeah, the 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 what do we do with batteries in the long term True. remains to be seen, but I'm sure the short term maintenance costs yeah. are straight up like I'm consider <laughs> I'm considering like grabbing like a Model 3 off of Swapalease for like 12 or 18 months to, like help just get someone out of their fucking lease because like uh, my my 911 just broke. <laughs> the starter motor took a poo. Oh, I was going to drive it to Willow yesterday and so the Countach is at the Peterson. Hannah's got the van. And I don't like leaving her without a car because <laughs> right. and and uh, and you know I, I have my scooter which I love, but the 911 is like my only like car here right wow. now. And so I, I took it really for granted that my 30 year old car would work 100 percent of well, the time. Well, they do have that reputation portion. I mean, for the, it's got a you know it's got a new motor in it, right. but like we we did use the the starter that. You know that was on the motor. We didn't we didn't put a new starter in just for the shit of it. So yeah. starter fuck it took a poo. Mm-hmm. It happens with old cars, but even I really not had that taken old it for cars, granted. Like my little Fiesta is starting to overheat for oh, no, no reason, really? and it's doing this horrible thing. 
uh, where when, when you start it, you, know, you hit the start button, mm-hmm. and it just clicks for 10 seconds. It's like... Oh. And it's like coming out of the starter area, oh. and I'm like, you know it's going to get worse. Going, yeah. It's not going to get better. I don't no. know what it is. So and it's like the same the thing. <laughs> well, the, 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 the solution is my when my alpha finally shows up, did you buy an Alpha? Uh, uh, yeah, oh, I haven't bought it yet, but I'm getting a Julia. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Lots of cash on the hood there? Um, They're giving me like a good deal. Cool. We'll like that. Yeah. Is I, that through Camisa's friend? No, 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 no. This, okay. this is through FCA or, oh. or Stellantis or whatever the hell they're called. You now. know how Camisa had a deal up in San Francisco where everybody was getting e-golfs through yeah. his like, hookup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some other deal down here where a bunch of people were buying Julia's. Oh, that's why they came down uh, Yeah, he was at Cars and Coffee last weekend oh, yeah. with this boy who got a Julia for $62,000. Oh, like a, a quad. Like, like a quad. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Get it. This is my wife's car. But cool. Yeah. Is it like a tie or whatever? Yeah, T.I. Yeah. But I but what's cool is I actually ordered it. Like they were like, "We'll find you one." I'm like, "Let me actually fucking order. I don't need a car. Mm-hmm. Let me order the car I want. Like I'll get exactly what I want. I'll be that much happier." And they're like, "Well, you know, COVID delays." So, anyhow, it's not going to show up till December or January. But I'm, my point is, I'm emphasizing with, uh, empathizing with you. What's the word? Empathy. Yeah, that that because About. like I I now like my my wife is stranded with the. Partially working Fiesta, right? It's like uh, questionable Fiesta. And I could, Fiesta. I could steal the van from my wife, but the bottom line is, it's a thirty-year-old, eighty-four horsepower van. So like yesterday, I had to go to Willow Springs, yeah, to to drive the new uh, uh, rear-wheel drive oh, Huracan, yeah, 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 rear-wheel drive e- Huracan Evo, yeah. And uh, and there's no uh, there's no embargo on that, but I'm writing it for road and track, so I don't want to scoop myself by go, telling go, you right go, now. Go, go, go. Uh, but it's. It's basically what you expect. It's lovely. Yeah. It is lovely. Yeah, no, the Uracons are awesome. Uracon, yeah. Evo, rear wheel drive. Yeah. It is what you think it is, and it is quite nice. Is it the full power? Is it 631? No, it's 602. It's 602. Ah, somehow but you'll it, live. Yeah, but yeah. it's, uh, I think that's, I don't know why they do that, If it's, it, it, but either way, it's lovely. Yeah. It's it's exactly what you're Because expecting. they want people to buy the more expensive Probably drive still, yes. yeah, because they still do performantes. <laughs> yeah. Comes in Coupe and Roadster. Yeah. And I, we, we, they let us actually, we were at Big Willow, but they also uh, let us go to the skid pad and fucking drift it. Really? Yeah, I have a, I, I uploaded the footage, footage oh, to sweet. Google Drive. Like, I had a video, remember what we did with the Camaro convertible up yeah. there? Yeah. I have a video of me doing that with the Lambo. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Then Dean DeJock who is Lambo's head instructor. Oh, I know Dean. You know Dean? Yeah. yeah. So that dude was my first ever instructor at Skippy Lime Rock in 05. Oh, wow. So this dude is like the homie. Yeah, yeah. And not that I like broke any rules or anything, but it's just really nice when I get to hang out with him. And he was like, dude, drift the fuck out of this thing. (laughs) He was like about it. It was really good. Did they have helmets? To give out? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. They that's, gave that's out helmets. That's <laughs> That's very unlike Italy. Yeah, they gave <laughs> out helmets uh, for us to keep, and I will be uh, oh, giving away, oh. yeah, oh. I will be giving away the helmet on the gram. Yeah. I only asked because uh, one, of, one of my first bonding experiences with Jethro was we um, went on the Lamborghini Aventador SV launch in Spain, and we were on some crazy track, like Circuit de Catalunya or whatever, yeah. but like just like a fucking nutso F1 testy psycho track. That's a very powerful car. Yeah. We didn't have helmets. We didn't know the track, and they just the guy just takes off. He just chases them as fast as you can. Dude, you and I did had the same exact experience in Estoril with SVJ. <laughs> fucking 175 down the front straight, no helmet, yeah, into yeah, yeah. a 30-mile-an-hour hairpin yeah. at the end of Estoril. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah okay, right. But so this this was somehow much more dangerous yeah. because this is a much faster, bigger track than Estrella. Like, a- anyhow, uh, fast forward uh, six months, whatever, and, and um, Jethro's there again, and it's like the M3. The, the M3 that has the water injection, mm-hmm. the GTS, right? And we drive the track again, and I, I remember we sit there, we're like, we could have died on that <laughs> Lambo launch. Like, we didn't realize, because you don't even know the track because you're just chasing the yeah, guy as fast yeah. as you can because there's these crazy Italians. They have learned from this experience, and they now ask your size ahead of time and issue you a carbon fiber pyrotech helmet. I, I think it's just the U.S. because, like, I, I still go, well, back when I could <laughs> you know travel. You know what? It really could. Ju- it might just be U.S. <laughs> yeah, because back when I yeah. could travel, we were doing, like, you know, the Nardo circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing, like, a, <laughs> a buck 70 through that turn one, Dude, no helmet. It be in, in prototypes. <laughs> what if, what if, like Willow Springs has more rules than like Nardo? Or oh, I guarantee Catalan- it does. Oh, I get, well, more lawyers for certain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, and even the the Lambo staff guys, you know, we're, we're lapping Willow, and uh, and I'm like, you know, this is kind of, where it's Big Willow. It's not straight. No, and Big Willow, but, but no one really realizes this. Big Willow's treacherous. It's like, extremely that's dangerous. That's the track that wants you dead. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. very, very dangerous track. Yeah. And it's also, if you're talking about a car that, like, it's rear wheel drive, so like maybe you want to get it a little loose. Like, is there a worse place? No, no, <laughs> in, not again, in, again. in the southwest no. to get a car fucking loose. No, it's a worse place no. ever. Well, yeah. So I was like to Dean, I was like, this is a weird choice of the track, and he's like, yeah, man, I don't know. It's like, fucking, <laughs> he's like, don't don't go ESC off into turn one. He's like, right. you'll get oh, hairy. Yeah. You know? He's like, well, that's why we got the skid pad up there. He's like, we don't want you to fuck around on the circuit. He's right. like, sail one of these things off and roll it four times. He's like, we got the skid pad up there so you can. Get get drifty like in a second i was like oh thank god yeah it's like this was like hairy no it's a it's a you know it's it's just one of those i don't think about it as much as i should just because i just drive it so much but like it's the most dangerous track there is because <laughs> if it was like modern it would still be dangerous because of the way it's designed but yeah. the fact that like the rumble strips will crumble if you hit them because they're 90 years old and like you know, most tracks will smooth the ground out, off the, the track. The tarmac is like no, straight up oh, 80 years oh, old. Oh, I'm not even talking about the tarmac. I'm talking about like the actual dirt. Like oh, you, yeah, you want to get rid of like yeah, yeah. giant pot like holes that yeah. can flip a car. No, they just have like you could walk to the corner, of the apex of turn nine. You could stick your leg in it up to your crotch. There's a hole <laughs> that deep. And I think I think there's some fact like. <laughs> more people have died on turn nine than any other corner in racing. Period. That wouldn't shock me because no, it's like if you go off because it's slightly cambered, it's then a ramp. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and it's not like grass runoff no, or, oh, no, no, or smooth tarmac. No. It's just dirt, so you dig in and then roll. And you, it's you, not you, even just dirt; it's really rutted, rocky, yeah, it's ru- shitty that's the dirt. Word. Yeah. yeah, and 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 you're going a hundred miles an hour or more in mm-hmm. a car when you're trying to go through there, and mm-hmm. then. It'll kill you in either direction. Like most tracks will just kill you to the left. This like turn nine, <laughs> if you go to the right, you're dead. If you go to the left, you hit a wall. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's horrible. And even the yeah. slowest corner on the course is uh Slippery. is five. And is that five? No. Is it the Omega? Osiris? Oh, the Omega. Omega. The Omega, yeah. the Omega oh, is super the dangerous. Slow is blind <laughs> over crest off yeah. camber yeah. dusty. Oh, I've I've <laughs> seen like, more people off there. Uh, but I would say three. Three is, is a really fun corner, but it's like the track's super greasy there. Yeah. yeah. So like I, that's the I, only track. That's the only corner where I can get oversteer even a little comfortably yeah. because it loads it's up up the hill and yeah. it slows you down. It's a little safer. I, I tell this story though, like we were out there years ago, and I had a, a Cayman, and it was it was very greasy, and, and uh, Sarah Trimble was with me, and she can attest how greasy it was. But uh, I spun the Cayman. And I get in, and Randy Post is there, and he's laughing. And he's like, dude, you spun a Cayman. Like, oh, that's the m- most stable car in the world. Uh, he goes out in the 918, spins in the same <laughs> spot. And I'm like, you spun an all-wheel drive car, motherfucker. You know? So it's like, that track is it can so get dangerous. You. It can get yeah. you. I think, I mean, Streets is ugly, but it's really fun. Yeah, Streets so is like, fun. So, like, get a car kind of loose. There's, like, four or five great sliding corners there that's, like, a little safer. My only problem with Streets is after the or maybe leading up to I just it's one of those tracks like I should memorize it because there's not that many turns I just don't care enough about it that's hilarious so I'm always like yeah you kind of eventually get to the bowl like, it doesn't <laughs> you know that's like, what, yeah that whole complex yeah, in the back you know what I, mean? yeah. I couldn't draw that yeah the first time you go out there in the morning you've had your driver, you go god I should fucking know this by now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like, I can draw pretty much, you know, with the exception of the Nurburgring, I can kind of draw every track I've ever driven or everything I've cared yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't draw streets. That's funny. I don't know if I could draw it either. Yeah. I think it's. I think it would be a tricky trick. Because it's so like turn one. Straight kink into the tight one. Yeah. And, and then it comes right. down that, that, that left. Cool and then it's left. a double apex right. Then and then a, a bunch bit, of spaghetti. A and then a bowl. to the left. <laughs> and then the bowl. No, you, you forgot like two turns leading Did up to I? the bowl. Did I? Maybe I yeah, forgot it's too. Real, it's real twisty to the bowl. Yeah, give me the satellite view there, Zach. There we go. Enhance. Uh, that's big Enhance. Well. That's big, there Enhance. We go. Oh, yeah. There is an extra. Yeah. Uh, there's an extra squiggly there. Yeah. Yeah. See yeah. that? So I just... Extra squiggly, I, and yeah. then the bowl, and then the fucking overcrest kink where you have a little pucker moment a little bit. And yep, that, by right the way, that, that's, yep. disinti- that's disintegrating. So the, um, kink, yeah. <laughs> the kink is getting narrower. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Man, and God, God bless you, or God help you if you show up there that day and they haven't put the cone. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I've. Because I've, they put a kink, they put a big cone, like a tall one. Yeah. Like a big four footer. Yeah, because you're coming up on it. Yeah. At 100. You're below yeah. it, and you have, to, you have to get as close to the cone as possible 
I don't even remember which side the cone goes on. The right. I think it's, it's on, on the right. right. It's yeah, on the right. Yeah. It's on the right. As close as possible. <laughs> and if you're more than a degree or two off that cone, you're driving into a hole. And then the next turn after that is a 90 degree left. Yeah. So yeah. You're going, and it, it kind of messed me up last time I was there because it's like kink, kink, zone. kink, and you go real, That's real fast. That's a good drift then, spot. That braking zone is the perfect entry speed unsettle the car for a slide. Yeah. It's really, really perfect. That... 110 to 40 haul down is the absolute perfect way <laughs> to unsettle a car's oh, no, all the way that, That's the front. probably cheating, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've gone off, not while I was driving, I was in the passenger seat. I've gone off the kink, and man, does it suck <laughs> <laughs> as a passenger because you're just like ghost breaking and like oh, no. praying. And yeah, yeah. Stop! Yeah, the worst. I actually, Randy was driving, we were filming, and he just fucked up. And I remember he was like, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I think the statute of limitations ran out. That was about nine years ago. <laughs> but we were, yeah, we were in a two series, like the original, two the, series, the rear drive yeah, two, yeah, yeah. and he just overcooked it. It just, just, and just, you know, there wasn't a cone and just was off a degree and just yeah. way off to the right. And there's just nothing there. Just rocks. It's just, just yeah, a bunch scorpions of rocks. and <laughs> death. And you <laughs> need that cone there. It's, <laughs> yeah. like, it's really important to have that. That's the, like, I can get through. It's not an apex cone. It's a fucking here's where you die cone. Well, you know what's funny? I So when we go, we just rent it. They don't put shit out. You know, they just rent it. So mm-hmm. I never have the cone. And the, but when I go for track days, it's like the cones are. I'm like, now I got it. Yeah, you know? it really helps. Yeah. It really helps. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, Streets is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cool track, but I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I like Big Willow better. But Big Willow's sketchy. It's just a sketchy track. Yeah. It's like... It, you, and it's so bumpy. It's so bumpy. It's bumpy, and it's just about your grip and your arrow and your bravery and not... It's not hard. Right. It's just like, uh, how many times a lap can you go... Uh? <laughs> and I mean, think about it, too. Like, it's got nine corners. And really, really eight, because seven isn't really even a corner. It's sort of like you just kind of move the wheel to set up for eight. <laughs> But like, what what other track in the world is basically eight corners and is that treacherous? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, it doesn't exist. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Weird. Like even Laguna, which is a short track, is eleven yeah. corners. It should be a bobsled track because it's like downhill. <laughs> yeah. you know, it winds down the, down the way. It's it's sketchy. It's uh, just weird. It's just a weird track. But anyway, it's cool. I want I want. I'm driving the actual Evo uh, next week. We have best drivers car. Tell me you've up. not driven. You've driven it. I've only driven the Spider, uh, oh. which which I liked. And I, again, I'm, I'm the maximum height that can enjoy that car. Spiders, yeah, the roof takes, it just move. they move the whole seat forward like three inches or something, and yeah. it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> but I, so I can kind of enjoy it. I, yeah. like if, it I, if I was one inch shorter, I'd love it. I'm, I'm just there. Or it's like, eh. But I know like you and Randy and anyone who's I over six feet. I can't drive the spiders. Yeah. But I try not to hold it against them. Right. Like you know. they say, this is not the car's problem. <laughs> right, right, right. But no, so I'm excited to actually finally drive the Evo, and we're going to Laguna, so it's going to be a good That's time. That's going to be so It's fun. going to be a good time. Yeah. yeah. It was uh, at Performance Car of the Year last year. It was the fastest car around uh, Thunder Hill. It'll probably be third this can you, year. Can you say what other cars are I at? I don't know. But let's just say it, and they can, they can yell at Only me. Only so. the live people will hear it, yeah. and, and then the, re- the show well, will I, go I don't off think it's, I don't think it's any big secret. Yeah. So uh, so the, the big stuff, uh, it, it, again, COVID has impacted everything, so we only yeah. have five judges. We can only physically bring seven cars because we just don't have people to transport them. Um, oh, that's super annoying. <laughs> it, yeah. yeah. Well, but also, we just, we just don't. It's just... You, Coronavirus has screwed everything up. So, uh, the big dogs, we got the F8. Um, uh-huh. So, that'll be interesting mm-hmm. what they actually bring because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, uh, we got the Turbo S, which okay. is yeah. going to be a fucking monster on the track. I'm sure it it's will. It's just going to be, you know. It's just crazy fast. And I, I think it's, remember the red one? Yeah. I think it's that car. They've like literally have had it in the garage waiting for best driver's Oh, car. really? Yeah. I was going to say that, or it's got like 10,000 miles on it by now. No, I, I think they like took it out of fleet and it's for just, that because yeah, that's like a no option except for performance option car. That's true. It's got a nothing it interior. Was light, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think they've been saving that for us. Um, Maybe I'll ask Frank for another go in that afterwards. I drove it in the. I only got it for a day. Yeah, and I remember it rained you, all day. Well, oh, right, but so. didn't, didn't you get a ticket too? I also got a ticket for allegedly going 110, <laughs> which I guarantee you I will beat. Well, With, I'm uh, oh. off the record I'm using for that ticket. I guarantee you off the record beats that. 
And by the way, they've uh, because of COVID, they've I've gotten multiple letters from the Santa Monica uh, courthouse saying they've bumped my case three months, bumped it three months, but it's bumped to like fucking February. So I have a November fourth uh, court appearance in Santa Monica because I got a ticket oh, in a dude, convertible. Get, get off, just get a call off the record and don't even go. Just well, they'll just deal with it. Well, but here's the thing. So now I have jury duty November second. Oh, <laughs> so I think You're I like to, I trade you. I have I to call. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, I yeah. show up yeah, for yeah, jury yeah. duty. So you just I should call okay. off the record. I, I've been I've had a good record of fighting tickets on my own. Oh, but, if you can do it on yourself, knock yourself out. But you're right. But these guys the are on, yeah, they're fucking great. They're yeah. on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I they got Patterson that. out of a monster on adventure drives. Oh yeah, you know Dave Patterson. That I know that dude in blue. He got a biggin. How biggin? He ran. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he ran okay. and they got him My, off. Mine's a sixty-five and a fifty-five or something. Oh, I'm not, I'm not too yeah, worried about you might it. actually get that thrown out just for showing up. I, I, yeah, that's, yeah. That's if you I'm got thinking. the time, that's a small one. You might be able to get that one. Well, here. since I'm going to move it anyways, I, I, you know, I, I, yeah. Again, I got the ticket. When was that? Whenever like, that yeah, was. Like yeah, like April. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's when I got the ticket. So it's November fourth, and then I'm going to have to move it. So I, I think I'm okay. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But yeah, call off the yeah. record. They're good. And then what else we got? We got, uh, I think we got the okay, GT4, Turbo S, F8, GT4, GT4, yeah. GT500. Love it. And then I think the Corvette, uh, which we never uh-huh. had a best driver's car, just didn't work out. And I just booked. I can't, there's one uh, more. Because we're doing Sorted, mm-hmm. uh, the second, uh, the West Coast Regional at Chickwalla oh, cool. yeah, next yeah. week. And I booked the GT500 carbon pack as our benchmark car. Oh, cool. Very exciting. I think that's the one we're getting. The orange. Oh, I don't Ooh. know the color, but yeah. I think I think we're getting it. Yeah. And that, so I I had booked the GT500 and in that, remember how it rained? Yeah. So like, <laughs> I booked it up two months in advance and then it was like the rainy week. <laughs> and I'm like- It's I, the worst car ever. For yeah, the yeah. I'm like, I know there's lots of bad rain cars. This is going to be, you know, so I actually canceled the loan. I'm like, just I'll get it some other time yeah. and just never got a around to it. So it's I, what I you should, been, yeah. So. so you should really, there's best driver's car, but you should try and get some Johnny time with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. The GT500 is very special. No, I'm, I'm, I've been that, meaning to. When it's, you, you can, and you realize that it's special in like 100 yards. Oh, that's you my get favorite in kind of car, yeah. And you fucking spin the puck and put it into D and tug about, and then you, you drive like 100 yards and you feel it go from neutral to first to second and you go, Oh fuck me! This is going to be completely different, isn't it? Okay, cool. And then you realize that this is now a Mustang with PD fucking K, and you go, "Whoa, what fucking planet am I on right now?" <laughs> and you hit big Tahunga, <laughs> and when you fucking hit that first sweeper, you go, "Whoa, whoa, And you're like, "Holy shit!" They just put 700 pounds of torque through fucking PDK, didn't they? Damn. It's crazy. Yeah, I can't it's wait. so good. I can't wait. Uh, I mean, I, I remember when the Hellcat came out. Mm. The first time, again, 100 feet, 10 feet. I mm. drove that thing, and it's just like, this is different. Yeah. This is special. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking amazing. Yeah. So This is that. Yeah. They've now figured out cool. gearboxes. Yeah, they good. Have, you know, good. Like, no, it I mean, it's 50 same... years for them to figure <laughs> out muscle cars and gearboxes. <laughs> they finally have done it. It's the same gearbox as the Corvette. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which is a great. And gearbox. it's great in the Corvette too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but except, but it, it, here it's handling way three hundred yeah. extra horsepower. Yeah. Well, you know, like, that's all coming. We yeah, no, no, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Will, oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but we know now. We know. Yeah, we. It's not like oh yeah, don't worry. And, and do you it's think? Like now do you we think know. it's under an underrated motor? Because somebody was telling me that like they're saying seven. No, here's why they're s- saying that. Okay, here's why I think it's under. I think it's the first Mustang I've ever driven where the engine. Power actually gets to the fucking wheels. Mustangs have the worst drivetrain loss of any sports cars I ever drive. Sure. Especially the GTs. The GT500s have been historically comical when it comes to putting power on the ground. Right. Yeah. And the GT, the it, it's even more exaggerated if you put a supercharger on a GT. Yeah. Right? It's just like, it's like, where did all that fucking power go and why isn't it going to the wheels? It's yeah. not, the car's not going. Right. This one. It is, goes. Yeah, This yeah, yeah. is different. Yeah, oh, I can't yeah. wait. I can't I wait. I think they've really reduced drivetrain losses to you go, okay, we are in a 700 horsepower car right now. Yeah. Oh, We're cool. making it. Yeah. yeah. I great. mean, I've heard nothing but wonderful yeah. things. It's just one of those that like, Slip through the cracks. But, That's very but good. Yeah, you'll like it. it. Okay, what else? Oh, I think I, like, I think I, there's one more. GT4. GT5. Is there a BMW in there? No. Is there? Uh, might be the M8, actually. I, the M8. Oh, yeah. that's Which they're discontinued. That's not going right? to win best driver's car. Yeah. It's crazy fast, but we it's might, not a best I, driver's car. I can't remember. I, you know what it might be? It might It might be that we have another Porsche. It might be the Taycan or the... Oh. Or... 
the Cayenne GTS or uh, Turbo S Coupe. Well, that would be interesting. Because we, we, we always do this thing, because when we have 12 cars, it's like, look. There's the, multiple. We always, we always do like a uh, SUV, you know, best driver's SUV. You yeah, know? So yeah, this yeah. year we did, a, we did a thing, and the Cayenne beat the X6M and the AMG and the blah, 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 you know, all of them, the, the Levante. The Cayenne is the best one, I think. Oh, yeah, by far. Oh, I driving them all back to back, there wasn't even, it wasn't even close. You, I think, wasn't I just talking to you at Cars and Coffee? Because you, was it you? Oh, no, it was Spike. Spike had driven a bunch of them as well, and he finally got the Maserati. And I was like, dude, isn't the Maserati... This, this sus- might have been me. This might have been It me. might have been you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The suspension tuning is really, really good on the Maserati. I think it is. Okay. But then you were like, yeah, but the rest of it is like a $40,000 car that's like $150,000. That, $150, that sounds that's like true. Spike. No, what I would have that told was you. Spike. What I, what I would have told you was we did a thing. So I remember this very clearly. I was driving the AMG. Uh, Scott Evans was in front of me. In this would have been the GLC 63? GLE 63 okay. S. Yeah. So this is the 603 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. Slopey back one. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Regular. Uh, it's not the coupe. It's the regular one. Oh, the regular it one? It just came out. Oh, so you can up. get the S with the regular on roof the e, now. not on the C. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Very confusing. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, because I love that little right? fucker. Yeah, I, I know. know. The little fucker, I was it's, like, wait, you're telling me I have to get the I th- ugly I th- one? I think Sang is I actually want getting full power? the little fucker, but not the not the slopey one. I would give up the S to have the good roof. Yeah, no, yeah totally. I would, I would totally. make that true. Yeah. Okay, so, so okay. you have these SUVs. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I think Scott was in the X4M. Which mm-hmm. is a, a killer engine, rides like just a bag of dicks. Oh my it's god, horrible. it's a bad motherfucker of a motor, it's isn't a it? It's a great motor, but that it, thing is crazy fast. It's just wait till that weird looking M4 comes out. Anyhow, <laughs> yeah. anyhow, and, the and, and then Chris Walton, Chris Walton was behind me in the Levante, uh, the, you know, uh-huh. the, the Trofeo. Trofeo, the fast Levante. And Walton, first of all, weighs 130 pounds. Second of all, has been in this business for like over 30 years, is like the sportiest, fastest, quickest guy there is. He's part of our test team. And, like, we couldn't even see him in the rearview mirror. He couldn't even keep up with us. I mean, okay. Yeah. The I just said I like the motor. suspension yeah. tuning. I, I, I did. It just can't go through corners the way that the Germans do. That's Probably it. not. No, yeah. but there's a section on my normal daily commute between my house and here yeah. where there's a negative G kind of over over a yump on the freeway. Oh, yeah. And my I, favorite, I use you know I use that as sure. a how does this chassis handle it, and as I hit that on throttle at speed, it took it just like a Cayman would take it, double wishbone front and rear, yeah, yeah, like yeah. no upsetting, like total contact patch. Right like, now, that's not to say it couldn't keep up with the other cars for. A variety of it would, other it would, I mean, it just it just didn't corner the way they did. You know, I mean, I just, just happen to like the suspension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, look, it's got yeah. air suspension. Yeah, uh, and Maser- it's double wishbone and 50-50 weight distribution. Yeah, it's and Mas- cool. Maserati's traditionally done that great, like the skyhook suspensions and all that. They're mm-hmm. very cool. And look, and like Scott Evans, who we accuse him of being like on Maserati's payroll. You know, uh, even he was like, "Yeah, it's kind of last place." Like as much as it pains me to say it. And look, know. I drove it in. in by itself. Yeah. I didn't drive it. Yeah. I've I've had I've had multiple experiences where I've driven cars by themselves. Oh, totally. And I've been Supra is the biggest one. Where on on the press launch, I was like, oh, this thing's not bad. Right. And then I drove it at performance it car of the else. year just, just with a doesn't... bunch of other real sports cars and I went, Oh, dude. Yeah. Oh, I was definitely not right about this. <laughs> well, it's not that you were wrong. It's just that everything. It's like now I have more context, and with more context, I learn that actually other shit is like way better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. exactly right. I mean, it's you know we just did um, like a small little car. We did a uh, Civic Type R, the new refresh, two thousand twenty or twenty one, whatever. They did change. You know, they moved the tire stickers <laughs> uh, two millimeters down or whatever. <laughs> Um, we had actually had the the CLA forty five, which is a uh-huh. bitchin' little thing. Have they done anything to it, or is it the same as it's been for the last little bit? Uh, we'll define little bit. I don't know. It came when did it come out? Twenty fourteen or fifteen? Okay, and... yeah. So it's it's four hundred horsepower. It's a two liter. Yeah. So they bumped up the power a little bit. It, yeah. It's totally all new. It's all yeah. it's all new. It's it's, it's you, you call Mercedes now and get this car. It's right. fucking rad. I liked the and, GLA a lot. The GLA was like a little rally okay, car. Remember how awesome. good that was? Yes. Okay. Start there. Add more horsepower. Drift mode. Oh really? It's got yeah, a drift. It's mode? It's got drift mode, so it can be pure rear wheel drive. Oh it's really? Just, it's, it's like. 
Some some of our guys were ragging on. They're like, it's like a GTR, and I'm like, guys, it's like a GTR. GTR is the raddest fucking car in the oh, world. Oh, I like the new front end. The new front yeah, end yeah, is yeah. good. It looks like the AMG GT. Yeah. So by the, the way, I agreed with you about the '53. Yeah. The 53 was such a nice car, but without the crazy power, all the other shit is sort of meaningless. Right. You need, yeah, yeah. You need the, you need the crazy power. Yeah, yeah. 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 Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise the, the fucking seats and none of the rest of it makes any sense. You go, you're dressing up. <laughs> yeah. Have you driven the 63S? Uh, no. Oh, get get that car. It's is, the best? It's just one of, you know when you drive a car that's so dominant? I don't mean like... The way like a Porsche is dominant. I mean the way that like I don't know, just like a heavyweight boxer. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It just hits you, and uh-huh. you're like, oh god. Like it's like that. It's like, everything else is kind of fucking around. It's not. <laughs> I had to you, take like a. I had like four, four or five Mercedes in a row. I had to take a little step back. That, that's the problem and with Mercedes. I, they I, have so many cars. They, 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 they love giving them. And out. while yeah. you're in there, and, and while you're in there, <laughs> yeah. And while you're in there, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, the 45 though. The, the, that C, seems the nice. CL, The only one we get right now is the CLA 45. And that's the that's the A which we don't get. Oh, because that would be. I know we're not going to get it, but we're going to get the GLA. We are eventually. Uh, it's not, I liked I, that GLA. That one was killer. The suspension was travel great. was so it was good. Great, it was you know, so yeah. Good. No, they, they, they rule. So, anyways, this car. So it's got tons of power. I think right now, wow, if you if I put my hand right behind the front door, yeah, it's a C class. It really mm-hmm. looks like a C class yeah. with the with the with the GT nose on it. Yeah. That's a very good looking front end. It's They've su- done it's a very super nice job. Good. They have one in LA. It's blue. It's that cool kind of dark blue. Yeah. Kind of like your hat. Yeah. Um, get that car. Oh, it's the West Side Collector Car Storage <laughs> Domination Blue Hat. <laughs> see how see how seamless. I'm gonna was. get you one. Don't leave without. I mean, getting you. I'll one. get one. I'll get. One. But Flex anyways, fit. it's bitching. It's got the brakes. Oh, the, uh, the dual clutch actually works really well. Now, have they of, figured this yeah, one out? Yeah. yeah. The, the first one was kind of the weak spot. First one was very slow. Well, shifting was very slow. It was like a. You guys are really trying here, and I appreciate that, but you have not gotten it yet. Yeah. So, so we had that. Uh, we had the. That looks very good. I should get that on the schedule. It's killer. Yeah. We had the Hyundai Veloster N. We had the. Love those. Uh, those are yeah, great. It was. It was yeah, I love great. that car. We had the a, a, a four cylinder Mustang, which isn't great. And, not so good. And then we had the Mini. The John G- Cooper Works GP, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the with the bo- with the cardboard box included <laughs> on the side of it, <laughs> which is. The worst car I've driven. <laughs> I drove the electric mini, and that was a worse car. But this is Zach and I had that one. It's 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 a very poorly engineered product. I, I we wanted got torque to... steer in fourth. Did you? Okay, the engines <laughs> the engines nice and all that, but like I've never been bounced around more in a car where it's kind of dangerous because you'll be cornering and then it starts moving up and down and yeah. It's a, what is what I are they know. doing? I don't. <laughs> sh- the, sh- and the shifting was doing something weird. What, wasn't it like the? It was really it's mouth- a great. Engine. It was shift not with a good very, transmission. And yeah. the steering yeah. was, yeah, the whole thing. But what a was great like, engine. What does it no, want to be? It was, a, it was a bag. I mean, it, it felt like somebody, and I'm, I'm stealing this from, I think Scott Evans said this, but like, it just felt like someone like just put it together and then like, good enough. Like, the, hey, maybe we should like do some laps. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spend any more money. And uh, it, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't love it. Yeah. So, but, but anyway, so like, you know, like the, the also Hyundai. also it looks horribly disproportionate. It's ugly. The front, the hood is way too too big for the wheels like it doesn't uh, it, 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 it doesn't have any of the elegance of the r53 which was so good looking but like why are you putting f1 ground effects on a mini it just <laughs> yeah. it doesn't make any <laughs> sense Absolutely <laughs> agree. Just, like you know. and they wouldn't they, they, nowhere i could i could not find any spec that says how much downforce it gives Zero. With those things oh, i'll tell you what but I'll they tell you, say it's for downforce no well first of all the wing I don't know if you grabbed the wing and did this to it, but the wing moves. So if you have a wing that moves, mm. that's the opposite of downforce. Listen, they, no, they do that in F1. Yeah, they do. You see, they Red do. Bull. It's, it's it's Red Bull. The Red Bull. <laughs> they, uh, they use soft carbon fiber. DRS, right? It's uncooked carbon fiber. They didn't bake it. Yeah, I, that curse. Anyways, but my, my point Unle- was- Unleavened. We yeah, call it unle- unle- unleavened. <laughs> the Jewish F1 team, yeah. Matzah. Uh, unleavened racing. They use matzah. That, that was about <laughs> as stiff as matzah. So. We'd be late to every start. We didn't have time to rise. <laughs> Ooh. Anyways, my, my point was that, like, on its own, like, the Veloster N, like, fucking kicks ass. Da, da, da. And then, like, yeah. the, you, you get the Civic Type R, and it's like, oh, yeah. Like this is this is actually how you do you know like precision front wheel drive. Yeah, th- true. I think if you drive them back to back, the Civic's probably a little bit nicer. But I think Hyundai did a real oh, good job they, with that it, car. I love that thing. Yeah, I love that thing. It's just you know it's it's just there's a 
maturity to the Honda. Well, Honda's shifter. Honda's shifter. You buy it for the shifter and that seat. They're the, the, the best. The seat's the, great, but also just like w- when you're going through a corner, you're just in the Honda, you like smooth inputs. The Hyundai, you're you're working a lot. It's great, but you're like you know you're steering and you're shifting and you're bouncing and it you know it's yeah. super. The cool. Honda is more like the Fiesta ST. It's more. Yeah, I, I feel like it's Fiesta ST meets Mini Cooper S, like the good yeah. one, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, I love I love that little uh, Hyundai. I think yeah. I think it's killer. But it's just like you know it's like oh yeah, I see where the extra ten grand for the Honda goes. And then can you get one of them for sticker yet? Is it? Still over for those. So my buddy in Honda, he knows one dealer that they Honda can call the dealer for us and demand and be the like nation. sell them, at, you know, to to Matt at at sticker. Uh, That's but, a, they're nice yeah. cars. Yeah, they, type they are, but they they're are. you know they're they're selling for like fifty, and it's a thirty really? thirty eight thousand dollar car. Yeah, at know? sticker, it's a great car. It's a great car. At yeah. Fifty, it's a little question, but but but. You know, we. I remember two years ago we had the best driver's car. It came in fourth behind, like you know, the GT2 RS, <laughs> yeah. the Performante, yeah. and the 720s, and yeah. then the M5 came after it. Really? Yeah, and it was like that makes sense. It, it yeah. handled better. It's better to drive Absolutely. than the M5. The M5 is great, but the not Honda, in pure lap times in the not total, lap times, total no, rankings. No, just, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. in our like you know. But that said, I there were certain corners that I was taking. I was at a. You know, not accelerating, but I could take them at a faster speed in the mm-hmm. Honda than I could in the in the M5. Yeah, it just has better suspension. You know, it just does. yeah. I had the, I had the Civic Type R Road Atlanta, and I had some some real high cornering speeds in a couple of the corners. It was, it was ridiculous. And then the the, the 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 2000 and whatever the new one, 20 or 21, whatever it is, like you know, oh, they they fixed all the cooling issues and oh, it's good. All that That's good. Yes. Yeah. They, they, no they overheat the, anymore. They made the grills bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Factory. Yeah. Yo, we got a lot of questions, dude. You oh, want to do do a few of these? Me, uh, I can, I can, can do whatever. The rest of these yeah, let's do a few of these. Okay, cool. Hang you know, it's great. Second. The shop closes at 7, so I got nowhere to be. I'm here. I'm just kidding. Eric's here. Uh, I'm going to get a ride home with Zach. I, I got no car. Are we doing cigars? Yes, okay. after that. Zach, yeah. you want to do cigars after this? Uh, yeah, I can just Johnny, yeah, I can work I, here I for brought a Johnny bunch. brought some cigars. I brought a bunch. Some cigars. I really like your nineteen dollar fucking JT. Fourteen, 14, 14 dollar JT brown, brown. The brown. I'm glad I'm not driving home. I'm just gonna keep at it. Hundred proof. Yeah, Fuck I gotta it. slow down a little bit, but yeah, you are driving. Home. Yeah, but after Eventually, the cigar, after cigar. the cigars, cigar. yeah, yeah, chill out. It's we'll actually a cool like not a hundred degrees out. No, it's good. And you know what's good about the cigar deck here at WCCS? I have no the idea. Sun. Uh, after 2 p.m., right. it's in the shade. The sun moves to That's the other nice. side of the building. Uh, I'm, probably, I'm actually probably going to be cold. Maybe you Also have a, great is that you have a great view of the alley people and what I, the alley, oh, people, alley are people are doing. Are, yeah, what's I made some things go disappear over the weekend intentionally. They were gifts to the alley oh, people. I see what you're saying. There you. were some spare construction I supplies, okay. and we just put them outside with a sign that said free, and then we went home for the night. Gone the next morning, minutes. gone. When I lived in New York, I lived in a six-floor walk walk up in in Gramercy. Brutal. It was brutal. But when we moved out, we had a 36-inch TV in the 90s, so that weighed 7,000 pounds, right? Was it paneling, wood paneling? No, but it was was the heaviest (laughs) object in the world. And it took us a month to get it down the stairs. <laughs> we put it down. We went back up to get the futon. It was gone by the time we got the futon down. I've, I've New there York was a guy picking up and ran down the street with that thing <laughs> on his back. There's, and like, it was crazy. I like, have one of those TVs. When I graduated, you know, when I uh, – when I went to college, and I and I was not in the fucking fraternity house, when I moved into my own apartment, junior, senior year, I had an apartment in college, and my parents gave me that big cabinet TV that yeah. was the big TV at the house from the 90s, oh, right? Oh, the, 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 the three-color projector No, thing? not that old, oh, okay. but it, but the screen was a, was a vinyl, like a record. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you could, if you threw a shoe at it, it would go through. <laughs> right, 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 right. And it was, it was a wooden, you know, right. cabinet. I know the TV. I know the TV. And it was yeah. only one flight of stairs we had to get it up but it took four people and i ended up in fucking sur- surgery afterwards yeah. it was fucked up no the kids today they don't understand tvs <laughs> oh my god dude these that flat screen it's like a 65 that thing was like 700 dollars, and it weighs i could hang it on the wall myself i mean fuck me I, that I is just, crazy I, I am actually picking it up tomorrow from from our buddy jeff charon uh, as you know, is in mm-hmm. the, uh, the the. It's good taste in speedsters, that uh, gentleman. Yes, but he's in the home stereo business, so he hooked me up with like a crazy TV. 
because uh, we got don't ask now we get 4k signals and my old 65 inch is like everything's blurred it's a good chance to plug the fact that the smoking tire youtube uh car reviews are now in 4k see we have purchased so now, 4k cameras we have zach and i both have new computers and we have decided uh to shoot the show in 4k so now you get our videos in and 4K. now i can watch it tomorrow when i pick up my new tele. tv yeah but like it's so, for what i'm getting it's so cheap it's ridiculous it's ri- it's ridiculous and it weighs i'm sure to weigh nothing but again this fucking thing, this 36 yeah. inch TV, because 36 was huge yeah. for a sealed tube TV. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was anyway, it, let's answer questions. It was heavy. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Andre McGee says, any chance of spectators at the West Coast round of sorted? I live in Palm Springs. Um, unfortunately, COVID. Andre, no, it's not that. Oh. Um, uh, because it's a fucking racetrack in the middle of the desert. There's certainly room for social distancing. The problem with that is, Andre, uh, as much as we would love to have spectators, and we would, what happened at the uh, YouTuber Project Car Challenge that Rob put together, we had spectators, and they scooped us. Mm. They all shot like they were videos on their iPhones, and like other smaller YouTubers showed up and like quote covered it. And by the time we edited the videos and shit together, like everybody already knew what happened. And so n- we are not going to have spectators, and that's because we want to control the show. Can I tell you a funny story? Yes. So we had the Ram T Rex. Oh yeah, the the Hellcat powered yeah. Ram. Can't yes. say a word about it, but. Because there's an embargo. And well, that's fine. We mm-hmm. all deal with embargoes. But they were like, social media embargo, you can't post pictures of it. And I'm like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard because we're <laughs> driving around L.A. in it. Yeah. So some kid was taking a picture of it at the gas station. I was like, hey, what are you going to do with that picture? You know, He's like, oh, I'm going to put it on my Instagram. And he had like, I don't know, 11,000 followers. So, Tag me, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm calling, uh, you know, Stellantis going like, hey, guys. This is a stupid embargo. Yeah. Get rid of this one. They're like, sorry, you know, it's you're the first to have it. We don't want people calling us and demanding to drive it. I'm like, um, so this kid who's got 11,000 followers, he can post it, but yeah. you don't want Motor Trend posting it. This is your logic. Yeah. You know, and they're like, uh, anyways, the next day they're like, <laughs> okay, that embargo's off. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right. Photos makes no sense whatsoever. Right, right, right. I'll tell you about it when we're off the air. Uh, all right. Yeah. Tune Squad says, what is... Oh, the best whiskey under $200 is a boring question. Agreed. Johnny, oh. what's the worst whiskey you've ever had that costs more than $200? Uh, the bottle of Boss Hog I got you for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never had it before. I never had it before. I like it. It's okay. I thought it's good. It was. It's So I got it for what it used to cost, which is probably around, I don't know, 250 ish or something uh, like that. But then now they're like 500 it's and It's really up. expensive now. It, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It, it's not, I'll get you some Whistle Pig that's actually excellent. Excellent. Well, I've been talking to Whistlepig. Oh. I'm trying to get a Whistlepig sponsorship. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, like, one of the not deals I propose. Sponsor me. One what, of the, don't sponsor him. One of the fucking Whistlepig deals sponsor. I propose. Guys, don't come on too strong. Don't look. Whistlepig's looking. One of the deals I propose to them, we would literally build a Whistlepig bar in that corner. <sighs> oh, which oh, I'm about. Oh, dude. Uh, not this, don't let, Guys, this, this is a tasting only. Brown. You're, just, you're trying to make Whistlepig jealous right now. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm banging um, Whistlepig's friend's no, girlfriend. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think. That that one is is overpriced. I mean, I, worse. It's, Dude, Boss Hog at the store by me is like seven hundred dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't. Yeah. it's not worth that. No. But it was. I thought it was a great gift and it was delicious. It's it's one of those things like you know if it's your first like super high end bourbon it's really is good. Is it the Supra of bourbons? It's the it's Supra of bourbons <laughs> by itself. It's good. If we did a tasting, you'd be like, it's a Toyota, made yeah, by BMW. Yeah. We should go to the, we should That's go to good. Old Lightning. You and I have you heard of that place? Yes. It's very snooty. Yes. I went there once, and it was pretty amazing. When COVID's over, I will go you anywhere gotta, and drink anything. Yeah, you just got to you fucking check your phone at the door and yep. lay down a wad of cash. As soon as Uber uh, is a thing again, I will I will, yeah. I will. be there. Uh, Low Strife says, advice for finding, quote, the mechanic. So uh, every city is different, but what's your process for finding someone? I, all I, I don't have a V mechanic. I have... Uh, I I go, uh, I meet people, and I see who they trust, and I go to them, and every mark has a different person. I have a Ferrari person. I have a Porsche person. I've got an American car person. That Lambo guy. I got my Lambo (laughs) guy. My Lambo guy is GTO Engineering, which people have heard of, Eric at GTO. My Ferrari guy is Donnie Calloway. My Porsche guy is Marco at TLG. My American car guy is Joe's Auto of Northridge. 
those are all so, free. You can have all of them right now. Without plus. naming names, except for Marco, what I love about mechanics, though, is like you're like, yeah, I'm having so-and-so work on my car. Oh, they're shit. <laughs> right. every, every one of them. A bunch of them will yeah, talk shit yeah, about other yeah. ones. Mar- Marco yes. was talking mad shit on my friend. And I'm Marco like, has to fix a lot of people's work. <laughs> yeah, and so is my friend, though. Because yeah. I, I told my friend about like what Marco says. Like, that guy, like, oh, my God, this guy brought this turbo. You should see what he did to it. Da, da, da. You know, so, I, well, it's like yeah. you're shopping for Lexus, and, they go, and you're like, oh, I'm looking at Mercedes, too. And they go, oh, those guys. Well, you know, they don't have the reliability of we have. Like, or, it's just I've compet- always it's found just that weird. Like, if a brand new Lexus store took in a Mercedes on track, Trade and put it on their used lot. How are they going to sell that? Great oh, point. With, no, with, this with is great joy. <laughs> with with great joy and at a huge markup. That's how they'll fucking sell it. Let me tell you. That's Have hilarious. you met car dealers? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> uh, Peter says, "I loved Johnny your Unimog cro- ah. Chronicles. What are both of your favorite Lego kits so far? Uh, mine's the Unimog. I bought two of them. And I haven't I seen actually, the Lego Unimog. Zach, can you get killer. me a picture of the Lego Unimog? I, well, uh, uh, Okay, I combined. I made a six by six. Uh, I bought two kits and combined them. Really? Yeah, I you had can so just, much like, fun. Do that? Yes, I'm very did good. Someone at have the? Pl- are you? Yes. Or does someone have the plans for no. you to do that? No, I'm just. I'm like. There's a few. Oh, things. that Unimog rules. Oh, it's the best. You know, I think the nature of Lego Technic lends itself very well to the Unimog shape. Actually, so, so I got the in Lambo ways it one. It doesn't otherwise. I got the Lambo one and nearly committed suicide <laughs> because it's like after 20 hours, I'm like, why am I building this? I don't. I don't care. Like, it doesn't look like a Lambo. Well, there's that, but also it doesn't really do anything fun. Or this is like nothing but fun. The winch works. That little, it does. The crane thing works. The crane thing works. The, the, the three switches in the back. That's awesome. One of them spins it. One of them does the one, uh, the, the, Piston, the arm. Yeah. The other one does the clampy. Yo, that's so cool. Okay, if Zach, can I? That's I, the I, best I, one. Can I? I'm gonna bore you, but could you go through my Instagram back to <laughs> and find the back animations? to April? And no, to you, April. But, yeah, I Jesus think that's when I built it. But uh, uh, I did the six by six, which is way way cooler. The I did the Bugatti Chiron with uh, with Hannah, and it was very very cool. It took us twelve hours to do. That's but amazing. How many pieces? Thirty six hundred. Wow. So me and Hannah had like an assembly line system. Oh, she see. would get okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, cupcake uh, papers yeah. and put the parts for each step oh, in the cupcake papers. That would papers. save time. Yeah, it was, she still, was really good. Still, like, It was good. Yeah, we were, we were cruising. Wow. We were cruising. Because I, I think it was about 24 hours total. But I, like I said, I just, by the end of it, I, I was like, fuck this thing. I'd hate it, you know. The um, But one thing I noticed with building the Bugatti versus building like the 911, the Bugatti... They numbered there the bags. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, the 6x6 six six is super cool. See, I built that myself. Oh, there's a better picture of it. This is a video. There's a better picture of it. Yeah. Dude, that looks awesome. Yeah, I've made it way cooler since then. I put a roll cage in it. Did You you just bought two and just extended everything? Yeah. yeah. So I found a used set. So this is probably, I forget, like it's like 250 <coughs> or 300 bucks. Yeah. And when COVID hit, I was like, uh, I want to make a 6x6. Six six. So, yeah, here we go. Boom. That is fucking awesome. Yeah. Are the drive shafts connected and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Portal axles, no everything. No way. And, I, and, I, so and see, cool. it's got, I got I got double shock action in the back, double shocks on the front. That's so fucking great. It was the best. I was trying to build a locking diff for it, and I can build a locking diff, but it doesn't fit with, I'd have to like start from scratch. That yeah, kit that's is the really front. good. That's I may have to front. build that one. It's the best kit. The Bugatti had numbered bags, and yeah. the the... RSR did not have number oh, bags. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. And so the RSR is only like 1,100 pieces, and the Bugatti was like 3,600. But the the first half of the build of the RSR was like so frustrating because I was digging. I had to open so many bags to find pieces. They right, were not. Right, right. It was weird. It was weird. Well, the Lambo. Yeah, look at that. That yeah. thing is rad. Oh, it's the best. The Lambo was like, I think it was like just under 4,000 pieces, but the box it came in, it's this killer, like green, Lambo green mm-hmm. box. And then instead of bags, it has like individual cardboard uh, boxes you oh, pull really? out of the main box. It was, that's very Lambo. It's very Lambo. It's very Lambo. Lambo, Lambo yeah. does packaging. Yeah, oh, pretty okay, well. there, there. Yeah, yeah. So I think. Oh, I, wow. I go yeah, that cyan is. Uh, that box looks like the Bugatti box, okay, kind okay, of. Here we go. Oh, it's better. Look no, at it's that. better than Look the Bugatti that. box. Wait, wait, wait. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Each one of those is a box of parts. Oh, cool. Yeah. Somebody has figured yeah. that out. Yeah. The I box looks go- like it's holding a the Lamborghini's engine cover. Yeah. Right. It's, it's right. part yeah. of the, yeah. engine the louver. Cover. Right. Each yeah. louver is an individual box. Yeah. And then, That's cool. And then there's a double instruction the double manuals. manuals. Yeah. 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 At a certain. There's Mitya. 
at a certain <laughs> level, they um, the the quality of the packaging and the manuals goes like way up, way up. Yeah, I the, just the packaging I, so, of Beats headphones is better than the headphones. So so <laughs> this part was super fun building the crazy. It actually has a transmission that works. Yeah, the Bugatti does too. The Bugatti has a two-speed gearbox and all-wheel drive, right. working all-wheel drive. It's and cool. So that's super fun. Yeah, building the body was the most boring thing I've ever done. I just didn't care. I just... when I built the engine, yeah, that gearbox, was fun. Yeah, that, that was fun, dude. The, when I built the engine of the Bugatti, the crankshaft with sixteen pistons, that's that like killer. I was like, actually, this is fucking. That's awesome. really cool. Yeah, I learned a lot about like how that kind of stuff like works. Yeah, no, it's super cool. This is you know, it's not as good as a twelve, but still, it's pretty cool. But the second I got to the body, I was I was so done, and the doors are so for cocktail like they just <laughs> they kind of work, but not really. Like, Did you see the custom uh, in my office? The custom Lambo they made me. No, they made me a Who's Lambo they? Lego. The oh. Lego like Skunk Works team. Really? Yeah, for like my birthday last year, made me a Lego. What like, am I chopped? I don't up. know why they did it. They're <laughs> very nice of them, but they made me um it not like the Lego Technic like. Like, it looks like the Countach mm. out of just little red bricks. It's fucking awesome. It's, I'll show you when we're done. It's in my office. It's so cool. That's awesome. Man. And they made this crazy stand to put it on, like a sarcophagus. It's rad. Damn. Yeah. Shout out to Lego. Um, you guys are awesome. Okay. Some what Japanese whiskey company is giving me a bottle of whiskey. That's Lexus all just sent me a bottle of Hibiki. <laughs> Uh, for 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 doing the IS three fifty launch, I think Matt's the guy I can't one up. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm, dude. I'm, you want to go? You want to play one up game? <laughs> no. You sit down with Zwart. You sit down oh, with yeah, Bruce yeah, Meyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Zuckerman. one up game. Zuckerman. The one up game is over. Zuckerman. Bruce Meyer drove a two fifty TR to Carson. I, I, I saw that. No, yeah. Bruce is. Yeah, Bruce. Forget about it. <laughs> that dude is like a two fifty TR. He, and I go, hey man, what's the story on this? Did it win Lamar like your other shit? He goes, nah, I came in third. <laughs> and, and I go, and I go. All right, cool. I go. Well, that's that can't. I go. That's that's terrible for you. I go. Your cars only are Lamar yeah, winner. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I go. It's got to have more. And he pulls out this picture of Ken Miles driving the car. I go. Right. Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Right. Never heard of that guy. Okay. So my, my <laughs> wife used to work at this law firm, and I'm you know I go there and I'm meeting everybody. You know, she just started, and uh, oh, you're in the cars uh, talking to me. And this woman goes, oh, you know, my my cousin collects cars. Uh, he's he. I go, oh, cool. Like what 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 kind of cars? She's like, oh, all. All, all sorts of stuff. He has like an old Mercedes and an old uh, Porsche. Um, uh, and I'm like, what era? She's like, oh, it's hard to say. And, blah, blah. and I'm like, well, what's his name? Bruce Meyer. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know who your cousin is. And it's not just an old Mercedes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, went to make a video when the Peterson is going to reopen really soon. I don't have a date, but they got a supercars exhibit they're doing. Remember, I, I got your car I in know. the supercar exhibit? Oh, you're know, telling the radio. Telling you, we're yeah, uh, we're doing uh, a, Johnny. Yeah. We're on a radio show. See, I think I'm telling the, the audience. I think the reason why <laughs> alcohol works the way it does. <laughs> Go ahead. So, yeah, they're doing a supercar show. They asked Johnny to help coordinate some cars. Johnny called me and some other folks, and some other folks did some coordinating as well. And now there is a supercars exhibit that is totally ready to open, except the, they can't, the authorities can't figure out when to let them open. Want to know something funny? The uh, reason that I called you for that is uh, Lambo sent me two of those uh, Cyan Lego kits, uh -huh. and the guy that won is the fucking curator oh, of new exhibits hysterical. at the Peterson. <laughs> yeah, and the funniest part of the story is some kid, actually, some other guy won. Like I, I sat there like a fucking idiot and entered like twenty nine hundred names into a spread. Don't even, never again. Oh, you did. Don't even ask. Can we that, win when the show is done? Can I tell you how to do that for you just pick it? Yeah, speed and efficiency. <laughs> you yeah, just yeah, fucking. Yeah. Anyways, but I was a schmuck and it was COVID and I had nothing else to do, so I did this and I put it into random.org and this guy, you know, popped up the first name and I had one thing. I'm like, just follow me. That's how you enter the contest. Yeah. He didn't follow me, <laughs> so I did it again. And uh, the second one was a guy that we know. And I was like, I can't, I can't send it to another journalist. Yes, no, you, know? you can't. No. So then I did it the third time, and this guy won. Cool. Well, he was Alex. Yeah, Alex, he was yeah. very nice. He's I met him. Awesome. Yeah. So at, actually, I went to preview it. Like, my car's in front. Like when you get off the elevator in the third floor, and it's like supercars, and this is a red coach. Oh, yeah. 
It's it's well, by first, itself in the so front. So he's the he's in charge of new exhibits, and he yeah. actually knows a lot about. I mean, I think everyone there does, but he knows a lot about cars. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, of course you're gonna have the Countach front and the, center. The uh, the but the the list of cars is very good. I mean, it starts off, you know, it's the history of the supercar. So you've got your Mercer and your Duesenberg sure, and your sure. old old stuff. Yeah. And then you very quickly get to Shelby Cobra, GT40, some important Ferraris uh, of the period, and then Mura, and then we move on to the most important Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, et cetera, et cetera, uh, supercars, and there's um, Schumacher's. Uh, Maserati MC12 is there. Uh, there's a Jag 220. There's a uh, Bruce's uh, roof CTR. The Yellow Bird is there. Uh, Freddie Hernandez, uh, his Mercy, the Fast Eight Mercy wow. is there. There's wow. um, there's a uh, no F50 is the only thing that's yeah, missing. Yeah, they were trying to. We were trying to track one down. Yeah, that's, a, a, that's a tough one. They're hard to find. But there's a 288, an F40, and an Enzo. There's a McLaren F1. Yeah, um, there's, yeah. Uh, it's funny how hard F50s are to find. That was the one I spent the most time on and just couldn't couldn't get it done. They're all in, the, in the Dubai, bro. They're but I, I claim, and I'll claim this till I die, if you shut your eyes and think of the word supercar, the first thing you see is a Countach with I a agree. giant wing. Yeah, so I it's agree. totally appropriate. No, I, I think uh, definitely adding to that provenance. I'm about that. Right, right, it right. it kind of bums me out because I like, I like driving it, and I want to keep driving it. I'm going to keep driving it, but... Headlining a show at the Peterson, that's good. That's good that's for good. your. It's also like it's good for the resume. It's also cool just to like let people. I mean, it's got to be someone's Countach, but like it's a great example of like the full '80s red with gold wheels, yeah. giant wing. You know what I mean? It's the like, one you want people to see. It's the actual. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, everyone's like, "Oh, Periscopa." It's like, shut up. No, man. the people who think supercar are not thinking about a '74. They're right, thinking about right. an '80s one. Yeah, exactly. yeah, definitely. And Donnie's TR. Donnie, Donnie Calloway, my Ferrari guru, his personal uh, Testarossa is so, in there. So Donnie was trying to—you hooked me up with him, but Donnie was he's trying hilarious. to— He's hilarious. Yeah. He's, he is— baby. You hung he, out with him? He's the, fucking no, off No, no, no. You, you gave me his number because I was trying to find a, a Testarossa, and I was trying to find an F50. Uh-huh. And he sent me on a like a rabbit hole for an F50, and that didn't work. Then I called my buddies in Canada that have F50s, and they're, it just didn't work. Yeah. And then I called a Ferrari dealer. Don't even ask. It didn't work out. It, nobody wants their F50. It's just it's a funny car because it's probably the best Ferrari ever, if you think about it. It, it was not appreciated enough when no. it was new. I yeah. drove one once. I thought it was really, really awesome. Yeah. Jet, Jetro goes on and on and on about how it's the greatest car he's ever driven, you know, and I was like, eh. Yeah. I still haven't driven one, but I, I kind of like, you know, a V12 is a stress memory. Remember, you know, like oh, it's pretty crazy weird. town. Yeah, you know, and it's weird looking, but it's it's pretty fucking cool. And it's like a carbon I think it's aged tub well. convertible. I actually think yeah. it's I think it's aged better than the Enzo. The, I just think the front, the grill opening is weird looking on the F. Oh, because it's a three fifty five grill, and then it's, it's a different shape on the outside mouth. of it. It just has a little <laughs> tiny mouth. It does have just, a little mouth? Yeah, it's just <laughs> I want you know, big lips are in. Big lips. Um, are in. I hope everybody goes to the Peterson when it reopens because it is a, it's a beautiful exhibit. You can go see Mike Countach up close and personal. I'm a member. I'll be um, there. And I had I had Derek do one of his off the charts paint corrections on it, so it looks it looks so fucking good. Oh, that's they awesome. and when he used it, when they use the ammo brute, they have something they do. I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't describe it. Whatever him and Larry do to the gold wheels, they glow <laughs> like Marcellus Wallace's <laughs> briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just call, the glowing orbs. I gotta call that guy because the Fiesta needs a lot of love. Bring it down. I'll do. I'll, I'll yep. do Derek right. works for me now. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. No, he's oh, on staff here now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. He was with Barry McGuire for right, twenty five right, 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 years. Right. They I called need... him Mr. McGuire's. Barry moved to Scottsdale. Yeah. Uh, like last year. And fuck Arizona. And, and yeah. Derek didn't want to fly every week out there anymore. Right. Because of bullshit. You know, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we scooped him up here, dude. Oh, he's kill fucking it. on staff. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as soon as my alpha shows up, did you yes. see him? He's doing the correction on uh, that that blue car downstairs oh, okay. right now. We came in. Yeah, he's working. We got All corrections. Right. We right. could call it the Department of Corrections. <laughs> that would be a great name for a detail shop. Anyone out there, you can have it. Department of Corrections. Pretty good. Yeah, it is. I'm yeah, good at naming stuff. Hey, you know. Oh yeah, we got okay. a lot more con. A lot more <laughs> questions. Uh, <laughs> chat Chapman says, "Where is the bottom?" Of the four five eight coupe market, now he's on to something. What are they at? 
There is, uh, a high mile car is like 140. A low mile car is like 175. 180. Oh, uh, maybe maybe 200. Ooh, the, yeah. I, the, the bottom is high yeah. because the dual clutch gearbox still feels good. Yeah. Ferrari is selling almost the same car right now, yeah. except with turbos on it. And yeah. it's still, it still is fast and sounds good. They work properly. They're great. They're low maintenance. They're great. And, and, they're, and they're actually, you can use them every day. Yeah. Unlike a uh, 430, which yeah. is sort of like. They still feel exotic. Yeah, but but they're soft on the freeway. The, the market is high. Like the bottom, the bottom is like 125 <laughs> to 140 grand. So is the bottom. So when the F8 replacement comes out in three and a half years, does the bottom go down? That's a great very question. slightly. Yeah, but the car is so good that maybe not by much. But but you remember when like Testarossas were like 50? Like the, the yeah. will that ever happen? I don't think so. Probably not. But you know why? Because they don't. A four five eight's not going to get to the per- point where a major service could cost fifty percent of the cost of the car. I mean, a TR well, is fifty grand because you got to do a twenty five thousand dollar engine right. out service. Right. Well, maybe you do. I don't know anything about modern for. I mean, no, you don't. You don't. You don't. They've just, solved that. I just wonder, like, you know, so, okay, you know how California's Governor Gavin Newsom said that by 2035, you won't be able to buy gasoline-powered cars in California? That's horseshit, by and the way, everyone, and you know it as well, well as I well, do. Well, hang on. Here's what I would say. I, I, it's cute you think there'll still be, like, gas-powered cars to buy in 2035. Like, the second, the second that, like... Uh, a kilowatt hour of battery falls under a hundred bucks. It's literally cheaper to build an electric car than it is to build an ice car. So, like, I don't. Think that's, that's not that's a the, ver- I don't think that's the holdback. Oh, that's the holdback. Oh, as, as soon as you can get it. We have had rolling blackouts in this city for the last oh, two that's, weeks. That's a fixable problem, though. That's 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 <laughs> that's a fixable problem. <laughs> And, and again, that but but again, it, like I said, it, it, by like if he had said it would have been a bold thing for him to do if it had been like 2025, where like 10 percent of cars will be electric, but by 2035 there won't be gas cars to buy. And he's really just saying the same thing that the Netherlands, France, Germany, yeah. and Ireland also said. They they, they yeah. set their limits for 2040. Yeah, it's so the it, easiest it, thing in the yeah. world to set a limit to make a bold proclamation yeah, 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 exactly. of something that won't happen for 15 years yeah, because totally. you get front page news and you do it sure. now yeah. and then when you roll it back because it's not physically well, possible he'll be out of office in four right. years yeah. it's like page no, no, no. six news you go to the club and you tell a girl I'm going to be a millionaire in a couple <laughs> years so suck my dick now does that work? I'm no, married. I'm for not. Elon uh, Musk. <laughs> yeah. For, <laughs> this car will totally drive itself. No, but, guys, and then he hovers oh, above yeah, the yeah, house yeah. later. He's like, no, oh, but I'm, I'm telling you, I, like, like, trust me, as soon as that, that, that's what that, that was actually the big news out of that Tesla battery day thing. It's like that cost is going to go from, it's like 110 right now. It's going to go to like 55. When that, <clears> I mean, as soon as it dips under 100. When I can believe anything Elon Musk says, I will let you know. You can believe, look, the, look, the guy has been selling cars for nine years. How many cars did they sell last year? Like, right, but just he's doing listen, it. Listen, people vote for Donald Trump. It doesn't make him not a <laughs> fucking fraud and a liar. Different, different stories. Like, like everything. No, it's not everything. Yeah. Same story. No, no, everything Elon has said he's going to do, he's done. That's utter fucking horseshit. What, what hasn't he done? Where's the tunnels? Oh, I'm talking, about, I'm oh where's about the te- Hyperloop? I'm talking where's about the Tesla. semi-truck? Uh, where's, the, where's full self-driving? They've been selling oh. for $8,000 on every car for fucking five years. Well, that's uh, 100 years away. Oh, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the that, timeline that, is just that, that may not, I've never well, heard the, but that's everything is true, but the timeline, no, 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 but Jesus but, but is but coming I'm, back, your no, timeline's no, 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 just no, off. No, 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 what I'm saying is, He's, he started selling an electric sedan, the Model S. Everyone said totally. Which he then said it, the fun, the profits from that would pay for the next car. He fucking did, and you know it. And the taxpayers paid for the next car. Well, I don't care who the paid first for car. It, only uh, sold on. green you're, credits hang on, for hang on, profit. Hang on, you're, you're you're freaking out about details. What I'm saying is ah yes, the no, truth. But the big the details. Picture. No, 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 it's not the truth. Big picture, he made a, he made a sedan. Everyone said it's never going to work. There's the, the the business plan's not fucking. There. Nobody said that. Everyone people said that. were people everyone are said it was going vaporware. back. Everyone people are going was, back and re. No, no, no. Well, I, I never said that. Uh, everyone said. In fact, I, I'll never forget this moment. So we're sitting there. It's like whatever. September 2011. It's our it's our 2012 car of the year. We have 11 judges, and I said to everyone, put your hand up. If you've ever said professionally or privately, this car is bullshit, it's vaporware, it's never going to work. And 10 hands went up, and Ed Lowe kept his hands down, and I'm like looking at him, he's like, 
My mom said, if I have nothing good to say, like, don't say anything at all. Everyone said it would fail. Then everyone said the Model X would fail. Then everyone said the Model 3 would fail. Then everyone said the Model Y would fail. Everyone has said this guy's going to fail. The staff of Motor Trend isn't everyone. No, 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 no. But I'm saying professionally, everyone has said this is going to fail. The stock's overvalued, the this, the that. The stock is overvalued. So, but no, The stock's not, not based on sales. But, uh, so what? The stock's not based on profit. But That's so, how stocks work. No, it's not. It's not how they work because right now you could buy. It's how they work on every other fucking company. But that's so how what? companies are valued. Uh, some companies, Apple is a two trillion dollar company. That's how, that's how stocks used to be valued. They yeah. definitely changed because yeah, Apple went up. A, it it's went up one hundred percent in a year. It's over two trillion. But my point is, Do you know what percent? What percent of the global population owns an Apple product? But it doesn't. Again, Tesla has what on, a one percent market share. You're moving goalposts around. What I'm saying is, if you had a share of Tesla stock, I don't know what it's worth right now. You could sell it for that. So that's actually what it's worth. Fine. Yes. But yeah. that doesn't what mean it's not overvalued. Well, it's worth because, yes, the well, price is literally what it's worth. Okay. Well, uh, but, I but will so, acknowledge well, that the price on. of a well, share of something is what it's worth. Okay. Yeah. But but hang on. So wait. If it doesn't come crashing down to earth when everyone... By the way, I've been hearing people tell me Tesla's going bankrupt in six months. Guaranteed. I have an inside I'm source. I'm not saying that. For years. I'm not saying that. Yeah. And by I'm the way, saying Tesla's I, a Ponzi I, scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It is a Ponzi scheme. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It is scheme. most definitely a Ponzi scheme. You think everything's a Ponzi scheme? scheme. Uh, or, what, what other <laughs> things have I said is a Ponzi scheme besides Tesla? Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Please, uh, list them. Uh, try, hang on. Uh, you, M- it, Mr. Lieberman, your rebuttal. Yeah, my rebuttal. I'm trying to think. Uh, we just had this the last time I was on. It was so long ago. But you, you were basically telling me everything is money laundering and a Ponzi scheme. I mean, there's a lot of money laundering. <laughs> and, but I didn't say everything's a Ponzi scheme. Real estate in Miami. There's a lot of money laundering. I would just watch the whole fucking Netflix special on money laundering. Okay, there's a but, ton of but, money laundering. But, but again, it's not, a not fucking groundbreaking. But again, they sold. How can it be a Ponzi scheme? They sold 100 and... Bro, you can sell real products and still have a fraudulent financial you, model. You, Those are not mutually well, exclusive. Except that not at all. But they're not selling like... Ten. They're selling like over a hundred and seventy thousand. No, no, no. My statement is not invalidated at scale, bro. You can sell hundreds of thousands what, what, of items what, and still have a what's, fraudulent what's the, business model. What's the Ponzi scheme? Their se- they their business plan is investors, not profit from cars. That's the that's how a Ponzi scheme works. They make money by getting more investors, not by selling more cars. But well, there's no profit in the fucking cars. The only profit in the cars is selling the green credits to other companies that don't build electric out, cars. But they're out of green credits. They're well, not, they're fucking fucked then. They're because no, that's where all been, their money comes no, from. No, but they've been but again. I, again, people have been saying this forever. They're fucked for this reason. They're fucked for that reason. I think he's a libertarian cocksucker. I I don't. I mean, like he's Mr. definitely Musk. a shitbag. Yeah. Okay. He's very Trumpy. Yeah. I don't like anything about him. But again, and, like when when we voted this thing, Car of the Year, I remember it was the same week he docked his rocket with the space station. Like until he actually does a an actual fuck up, not like oh, where are the tunnels? Who cares about the tunnels? Dude, he got fucking federal money from the tun- for the tunnels. He but got that's government not, that's money. That's our Tesla, money. But that's not Tesla. Dude, you neither is the fucking rocket. That's SpaceX, bro. That's not Tesla either. I know, but... but you but, just made the fucking comparison. You said, hey, dock the rocket. But that's I'm, not Tesla. But again, that's not, SpaceX. But not getting a company off the ground in time is not like a failure. Like, again, I don't know what's going on with the boring company. I have no idea. I've stopped. I only pay attention to the car shit. It, but like, bro, the boring, the tunnel thing is absolute fucking horseshit. Every one of Elon Musk's inventions solve Elon Musk problems. These don't solve global problems. Well, I don't Zach, know. Why I don't think, you Google think, Elon Musk's I, oh, private jet on. travel? No, Let's no. see how much he cares about yeah. the environment. Well, he, flying around on his G5 uh, between uh, Hawthorne and on, San Francisco every day. You flying your private jet and then getting like a million electric cars on the road. Like, you know, the private jet doesn't do that much. Uh, I would disagree. Really? I think flying around a Gulf Stream is the least efficient way no, a human com, could com, fucking travel. But compare it to, well, he goes back and forth. The end but, doesn't justify the means in saving the world, dude. If you do unethical shit and you go I'm gonna do this unethical shit but it doesn't matter because the fucking big oil and big autos are worse you, no, I'm just that, again, I'm you, talking about you have scale. To, like, like, like again, if you stop burning gasoline, that would be way better than like one guy flying back and forth on a private jet. I mean, but you know, the right? one guy, maybe he didn't fly on the private jet and that would save some fucking gasoline. Uh, like a. a 
a teensy, te- I mean, like, how much? Elon Musk flies so much on his private jet. How much? I mean, Google Elon Musk <laughs> private jet but flight again, tracker. Co- compared to I have this on my, I have this, yeah, okay, by the way. Okay. I know, I didn't, I'm not just uh, again, asking you to yeah, search for this. Yeah. I know that this is a thing. Yeah, he flies back and forth like three times a week. Three times a fucking day that yeah. plane flies back okay, and forth. So I don't, I've never seen anyone burn more jet fuel than fucking Elon Musk. Uh, here's, their, here's their revenue for, uh, Cre- uh, credits, by the way, regulatory credits. Okay, uh, so twenty nineteen in the port, Tesla made five hundred and ninety four million, four hundred and nineteen million, and three hundred sixty million from selling regulatory credits alone. That's quite a lot that's of money from a product with zero cost to produce. So okay. that's what they so do. They half, they sell, half a billion well, a year, half a billion a year in regulatory credits. Yeah, but they're they're out of credits now. I I, I I don't know what we're arguing about. I'm just saying, like... The, you the, said that everything he said he was going to do... With the cars. With he's the done. Cars. Hot swappable batteries. Go! Well, okay. Remember when he, he said hot swappable batteries? And he had... It actually right. has that capability. She no, said, it does not. Yes, it does. And it doesn't work. It, well, he on. never once demonstrated a working model, and he, he took did, an enormous he government once. credit for it. He did take a lot of money for it. He did, enormous he did work, government credit. But it turned out credit. nobody wanted to swap batteries. But it, well, he didn't give the money back, did he? He took a huge fucking government credit. Elon Musk takes more government fucking money for having a business that loses money and yet has a stock valuation up here and Elon Musk personally You're made so billions of dollars. About this. Yeah, he made because he's a fucking scam artist. I don't think he's a scam artist. You can't you can't point to like again, I, he what, made a billion Zach, dollars how many during cars the they pandemic. Just sold. They just they just No, he made 80 billion dollars, 50 billion dollars oh, during the that's, pandemic. Oh, that's that's excuse yeah. me, that's better. Yeah. That's he much better. He owned stock and the stock went crazy. I mean, that's you know, much better. But it's it's not him who's making the stock go up, it's investors. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, so, uh, Apple spent $93,000 on private flights for CEO Tim Cook in 2017, whereas Tesla spent $700,000 yeah, over Tim seven Cook times lives, as much. But hang on, Tim Cook lives in one spot, and he goes to one office. Elon goes back and forth between mm-hmm. Fremont and uh, El Segundo. Just saying. Yeah. Okay. Must Jet represent 250 flights in a year. Okay. His fl- his jet made a hundred more flights in a year than the private jet of Jeff Bezos. That's a lot Again, of goddamn flights. Do you know how much uh, flying a private jet costs? Do you know how much fuel that uh, He's a billionaire. Well, I, don't much, I, don't know, I don't know how much fuel it flights? burns. Flights? Uh, but I do. But the, but the cost, who cares? It's his companies. I mean, you know, he flies back and forth. What I'm saying is, if your shit is that I'm saving the environment and I'm fucking better than everybody else and big oil and big this. And meanwhile, you have how many 30 plus violations of the Clean Air Act in your paint shop, right? The tent. 30 plus yeah, violations okay. of the Clean Air Act. Okay. You suppress, uh, again, you suppress yes, workers' yes, yes. rights. That sucks. You fucking I said he's a, uh, you swat whistleblowers. They, li- he swatted li- a whistleblower. Libertarian cocksucker. I can't yeah. stand so, anything he does and then except you, that. And you fly around on your selling. fucking Gulfstream 650 ER. A 650 yeah, you ER. you can stand up in it. It's a great plane. That's the <laughs> biggest, <laughs> thirstiest Gulfstream he's, that one's worth buy. $80 billion. Let him buy whatever he wants. But, but what, what I'm, I'm saying is no. he is burning more fucking fuel personally than entire yeah. cities almost No, of that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. You don't think well, there's I mean, an entire it, town that Elon's I mean, jet burns more town. fucking like, like fuel if than? if there's like 10 people in the town, 250 yes. jet flights a year? I don't year? think it's that much because he's only going from Fremont to El Segundo. Well, that's a flight, isn't it? Yeah, but, well, hang on, but it's the if length of the flight. you go back the, and the, forth on, every day. But the length of the flight matters, doesn't the takeoff it? And the, la- the takeoff is where you really use the fucking fuel. Uh, well, but if you fly to Fremont, that's less than flying to New York. Is, <laughs> you're, you're flying a 650 It's a nice Fremont. plane. I've been on them. They're great. That is so <laughs> you crazy. Can stand up. They're really, really nice. Yeah, basketball you know. court. No, but I mean, lot, lots of lots of private jets. You have to like, you know, have your head tucked. What I'm saying. Obje- look at, look at how many reality cars they sold. Has to, has no, to objective look reality at is they're market selling, share. They're selling more cars than BMW and Mercedes and Audi put together. Like they're they're actually a car company making and selling a shit ton of cars. They're, they're, look at, I can't remember the number. Was I, I don't just think heard they're it. selling more cars than Mercedes, BMW, and Audi put I, together. I, th- I don't think I that think, is true I at all. I think they are. Look it up. Look I it don't up. think that's look true. It How, up. Over what? A total? A year. A total. Model by model or total? Combined. 
Tesla sells more total cars in the U.S. Look than Mercedes, up. BMW, and Audi combined. I believe that's true. I think there is. I think that I, is I not true. I believe that's true. All right, 2019, according to uh, where am I? CarSalesBase.com, they sold uh, 192,250 cars. Okay. Uh, the year before, they sold almost the same. Okay. 2017, they sold 50,000. That's because yeah. they didn't have the, the Model 3 came out. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, 190, and that's just in the U.S. So that's that's, that's more than Mercedes, BMW, and Audi combined. I, don't, mm, I do not believe that. Maybe it's that just passenger. Maybe it's just second. cars and not SUVs. But anyhow, my point is like, well, the point two, has to be based on actual facts. Yeah, they're so selling two hundred thousand fucking okay, cars. Okay, so Audi in here. sold two hundred twenty-four thousand by itself in the U.S. Right. So your point has burned to fucking ash. Good point. However, yes, okay. my point is, if you're selling 200,000 vehicles a year, that's humongous. They're actually... I'm not saying that's not. Year on I'm not year. saying it's not. That's not, a, that's not an argument for my point. I, I, I'm, I keep missing your point. You the don't point like Elon Musk. The point is to get investors to buy in. Yeah, that's the that's, point of every company. No. That's actually the point of every company. And then I, you pay the investors. If, by the way, if they're not paying the investors back, guess what happens? The stock crashes. And again, the, for the last nine years, I have heard endlessly... I'm short. I'm shorting Tesla. I'm shorting Tesla. I mean, Elon makes fun of them, rightly so. I'm not suggesting you should short Tesla. I'm suggesting you should invest your money in literally anything else. Well, I, I have walk no away. money in Tesla. But, I, would, I wouldn't put any money in any the, car company. The but point of other car companies is to build shareholder and sell, value. To build shareholder, and sell high quality product. It's a corporation. If it's public, the point of a car company, of any public, you know this, of any public company is shareholder value. I mean, you it's know that. Truer today than ever I think before. That, you know that. I think True. there is a truth to that, but I think Tesla leans more on that and cuts corners in the cars to do so. They cut insane corners. You saw the Home Depot yes. fucking weather stripping. Yes. I mean, I don't that. So yeah. that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They build right. value in the shareholder at the expense of the cars. Right. So maybe but, I didn't say that right, but that's how okay. I mean it. But, at the expense but here's the of thing. The cars. Here, here's here's the point that that I I acknowledge is a point. I don't understand it. The Tesla fans, I don't know if you saw that thread, they fucking excused it. These are the people buying the cars. Of course like, they do, because they're in a cult. Yeah, they're in a cult. Because it's Trumpy. Okay, agreed it's with all, all that. all a fucking cult. But they're still buying the cars. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like because, they're still well, buying them. I understand, because, you know? pe well, first off, people are real dumb. Okay. Real dumb. Fair enough. Deceptive marketing works. Did, well, they don't even have marketing. They don't do anything. No, no, no. Well, that's absolute horseshit. They don't have maybe paid traditional ad buys. That doesn't mean they don't do marketing. What? Fucking Elon Musk's Twitter is marketing. In yeah, fact, sure, it's considered, sure, sure, sure. it's registered as official sure, communication sure, sure. of the fair company, enough, enough. which is how they got into the SEC thing. Right, but what I'm saying is they don't have a marketing department. That does not mean they don't do marketing. That's a fucking uh, dance around and it's bullshit. Uh, they do fucking marketing. I mean, what do they do? Of course they do marketing. They fucking give cars to influencers. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, they fucking have, they, 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 they participate they don't, they don't do in ads and prints. That, and they don't do traditional marketing. It doesn't enough. mean they don't do marketing. Okay. They do lots of marketing. Fair enough, But fair they, enough. Do, they do it in a way that allows I them never to be seen holier this passionate than about anything. Because, I, because the bullshit is so deep with this company and regular people just don't fucking get it. And I have my eyes open. And right. I read a but, lot, and I see a lot, right. and it but what fucking I'm, drives me crazy. But what I'm saying is, if you were to buy a new Model Y, and assuming the roof stays glued on, like it's a pretty damn good car. I never said it wasn't. I, but that's all that matters. That's actually that, all that matters. Is it a good car or not? I mean, I don't think it's made well. Uh, again, is it a good car to drive or not? You know, and, and again, well, ma it, made well. There's not much to go wrong. What I said about the if you go watch my reviews of the cars, which you don't do, but if no. other people do, <laughs> you will see a very objective review of the car right. that excludes my views of right, how right. the company is run. That's yeah, that's fine. I said I, fine I, things about the Model Three, and again, I don't, I don't even care. I like, I mean, I, I care. I don't like the way he fucks around with his employees at all. Yeah, but, but again, like. The, th they're not bankrupt. Their stock value is up. Every, I mean, when I say everyone, I mean, there's, there's certain people that always are screaming about Tesla's evil. They're, this, I mean, they're short them. They're going to be out of business in six weeks. I know for a fact. I got an inside guy. They've been wrong for almost a I decade. I don't say any of those things. What I say is okay. it is an ongoing Ponzi scheme. Okay. okay. I don't think that's true, but okay. He, he is a piece of shit human. No argument for me. He does piece of shit things. Sure. The cars are built jankily. Agreed. They have, they, they claim to be holier than thou and yet do they? yes 
We'll, we'll see again. Well, without Mark. maybe they don't, but they right. certainly allow their hardest core fans. Sure. To pull, so that sure, now you're sure, talking sure. about now you're talking about something that we call with Trump stochastic terror, which is where you don't do anything, you but you create an environment for other people to do things and then step back with just enough deniability, like Trump stand back and stand by. Right. That's what we call stochastic terror. I, I would terror. say though, I would say though, driving an electric car, not burning oil and especially in California where our energy is pretty green, it's like 87% green, is actually a good net positive. So, so I, I'm not anti-electric car. Yeah. yeah not anti-electric anti car. Right, right, right. But I'm saying, so getting people enthusiastic about that is a, is not a good thing. Not at the expense of, of truth, of treating people fairly, of not I, being again, a complete I, piece of shit, I, I and don't of like not any building of those a janky-ass fucking car with some Home Depot straps <laughs> I, th I think that was about four cars. And also, but yeah. I am I'm in, I believe that the marketing of the autopilot and full self-driving systems is incredibly deceptive and dangerous. I think he should be, or not about he, but that company should be fined heavily for that. that. I, I think because, that the because allow, it's not, the it's allow even, in, they yeah. allow people right, to right, call right. their cars self-driving. Right, right, right. Well, in a first, way that I mean, is I don't completely know, I don't untrue. know how you stop it, but like they should have never been allowed to call it autopilot because it's anything but. It's, yeah. like, it's fancy cruise control. Yes. And the Cadillac system works better. Yeah, I well, it's, and it's limited by it's it's. You have to be on a free yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, I think we're having a heated agreement. Right. All right. Right. Anyway, All right. let's continue. All right. Uh, Murray wants to get into auto automotive journism. How do you get Don't started? Do it. Go <laughs> into, Don't do it. Go into commercial real estate. Buy yes. what you want. Correct. <laughs> Become agree. a doctor. Oh my God. Uh, no, okay, we should actually. You can start your own blog. That's one way. Yeah. Or start your own something. That's okay. one way. So you can write pieces and send them to people you respect and see if they will help you get published if they are very very good. Yes, that's probably the way. Work. I don't know about the very, very good part, but that's the way I came up. Was I, you know, I, I, I met people and I just bug people. Um, do you want to get into automotive journalism these days? I think it's quite crowded. I yeah. think it would be very hard. I don't even know how to start. I don't know where I would start. I started so long ago. I don't know where I'd start. Yeah. I mean, I started, I found a website I liked at the time, Truth About Cars. They had one employee, it was Robert, and I just conned him, convinced him that I could write, and I, I wrote I actually wrote something, by the way. That seems to be the step that a lot of kids don't want to take. You I actually, actually have to do the thing. I actually did the work. Yeah. And then, you know, started at the very bottom, made five bucks or 25 bucks a post or something horrible, and then built my way up. Um, you can do that. Uh, but I think I got lucky. I really did. I knew a couple people. I mean, I knew Davey, really. That was, that was it. Just start writing. I mean, yeah. just find something to write about, preferably that isn't car reviews. That's yeah. the best that's way That's actually, to, I did that for, I wrote movie reviews. If you like, can try uh, to write something that's not a traditional car review and don't write a defense of your own car purchase. So many people, <laughs> and, I, and I've said this, I'm like, look, if people want to be automotive journalists, Matt at the tire.com, send me a piece, I'll critique it. I will. I will read it, I will critique it. 90% of those, 90 or the are car they own. either a review or a pseudo defense of their own car. And it's like an E30. Which, like, is not a terrible place to start as a writing exercise, but I, you know, yeah. do car. that. I, did, I did get that. it out of the way and I, then write something else. I did that for my first review. I, yeah. I borrowed a friend's car. So. Well, borrowing a friend's car is better than doing your own car. Yeah, totally. Borrow a friend's car, rent a car, get a car on Turo, do whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah. write something that's Don't not a review. Steal it. Actually, steal it and write about stealing. Steal it. it. That, would that would be awesome. <laughs> if you stole a car and literally gave me a step by step about how you stole this car and then reviewed it, I'd be like, "You're a fucking G." That'd be pretty funny. Share. Matt's endorsing that. I'm, I'm on the fence. <coughs> All right. uh, glass bomb. Best car, best slow car to go fast in the Fiesta ST. It's not yeah. that slow. It's not that slow. Yeah, it's not that I slow. I mean, a rental car. FRS. <laughs> yeah. F F <laughs> eh. Are I those mean, even that good? <laughs> I, I like them a lot, but they are slow. I like the Subaru. Man, they are Best slow. slow oh, car. I mean, the, yeah. what are they, 2% difference, really? It's that 2%. I don't know. A, <laughs> yeah. uh, a Hachi. A Hachi Roku. Hachi Roku. An AE86. Hachi Roku. Yeah, and a Toyota, an AE86 from back in the day. I mean, not fast. Can you went, find them anymore? No, but that's a great okay. slow car to go fast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's one um, of those questions. That's like best whiskey under two hundred bucks. We gotta. Yeah, right. We gotta ban it. Well, how about worst slow car to go fast in? Uh, the, <laughs> the, the Volkswagen Beetle, uh, uh, Mustang uh, tur with uh, turbo, Dodge <laughs> Nitro. <laughs> oh yeah, the Dodge Nitro is terrible. <laughs> um, Marty Jack uh, says, speaking of headlights, are there any reputable brands? 
to upgrade to an LED or HID set? I have no clue. This is uh, contact Jonathan Ward at Icon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He knows about LED headlights. Yeah, <laughs> I've never I've never bought LED sorry, upgrades Jonathan. or HID upgrades. I'm sorry. Uh, Tune Squad says, how do the values of the cars at WCCS get as- assessed for insurance? Uh, presumably the value of your policy is fluid to account in the change of value. Uh, Tune Squad is, in fact, correct. Our Haggerty insurance policy here at WCCS is, in fact, assessed quarterly uh, to take into account the value of the cars in the facility. And we uh, we go by Haggerty's pricing guides. They have their own uh, uh, pricing guides uh, that are meant for collector cars. And that's how it works. And if you bring a car to store at WCCS and that car has two commas in the value, uh, there <laughs> dos is comas. Uh, dos commas. Yeah. There is a little bit of a uh, insurance a surcharge. A little bit. It's not too bad. But like I say, if you're rocking seven figures, you pay the cost to be the boss. Yeah, bit. yeah, a little bit. It's one of those. It's not bad. We don't have too yeah. many as seven figures here at WCCS. Uh, Thojo points for pointers for used Fiesta ST shopping. How do they hold up with higher miles? I don't know. I sold ours and yeah, I've never mine back. has almost forty. It's like thirty nine something, mm-hmm. and it's it's not holding up great. I got to tell you, it's um it's had a tough life. It's been modified. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not holding up great. I, I'm actually thinking maybe it's time to. So it's just one of those things where, you know, when you know a car is going to need a lot of work. Yeah, that like, sucks though because forty thousand miles is not. It's not yeah, that it, much. It, it it has had a much harder life than I think <laughs> other people's Fiesta STs. Yeah, um, ours had a tough life as well. Although you're still had a kicking. Very hard it's still life. kicking in Ohio. Is still, it? It's still, yeah, the guy is, I sold to is still, it still that stage three, like... Yes. It's, with, it's exactly <laughs> as I sold it, but he put the back uh, the stock wheels back on it. But besides okay. that, it's exactly as I sold it. Yeah. That thing was a riot. That, <laughs> it was awesome. That thing <laughs> so fucking fast. boogied. Yeah, it was, it was just so stiff. Yeah. I would have left the stock suspension. I would have left... It, that was a Thad choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I would have left the suspension alone as well. I remember yeah. when Thad did that hill climb with it, though. Like, he had a yeah. good time. <laughs> yeah. He, I was... It was just one of those funny things where I was... You know, you're kind of like, oh, he'll do this, you know, and uh, and like Thad had a good fucking time. I forget what it was. Yeah, he came Thad's back and he's like, of... I beat some Ferraris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I will say those Ferraris were so slow. They yeah, were yeah, slow, yeah. but it's yeah. still, but it's a good still I think he beat he beat like like a Viper or something. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thad's a decent driver. Yeah. That yeah. car was good. That yeah. car was yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was a just... hundred octane tune. That car yeah. was fucking <laughs> out. It was great. But anyways, tips for buying them. Um, probably. Like the less engine mods, the better, because everything else you can yeah. kind of put back. I think if you, once you start, you know, even if you do that Cobb stage one tune, that changes the you know the burn rate of the fuel and changes how fast the turbo spins, blah blah blah, and when it spins. Yeah. So you're actually you have a mechanically more beat up engine. You have you know you go from 87 to 91 octane and all that, or 93 octane for non Californians. Yeah. So try and get one that's not tuned. Yeah. I think is the best. Thing. Yeah. And, and low miles. Yeah. But, I mean, standard advice, really. Yeah. Uh, Alex Gong, I got my 997.2 six speed in July, and I love it, but not for every trip in LA. Please tell me I'm an idiot for cross shopping Lexus GSFs and Land Cruisers as potential future replacements. I mean, GSF has my second highest ranking. My highest ranking would be a Land Cruiser. So I am a, an enormous GSF fan. They're so The underrated. GSF fan is so, is so good. I yeah, know. It's like. And you drove up here in an LC500, yeah. which is a GSF, but way prettier, basically. Yeah. It's well, better, but, but it's I, like, I also think the LC500 weighs 500 pounds more than a GSF. Really worth it, more than GSF? I think it's like 4,300, and I think the GSF's like 38 or 39. Really, yeah, yeah, GSF yeah, yeah. is really where it it's at, isn't it? It is really good, yeah. That's a very good it's car. It's ugly, and no one will ever look at you. Cops won't look at you. And yeah. It's, it's just a, that's a kick-ass but car. But that engine mm-hmm. is so good. Yeah. It's this. It's the same it's engine. Sound, yeah. yeah, yeah. It just like it. 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 The way they've tuned the intake, it sounds like motorsport to me. Like, and when you put it in gear, it feels like oh. I've engaged now. It's like, oh, this is. Good. I just like how the the Prius company has the last of one of the last great you know, mm-hmm. like V8s. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you think about it, actually, of naturally aspirated V8s, I guess the Mustang's pretty good. Yeah, 
the the Dodge and the Corvettes and the Camaros and that's, yeah. everything else is turboed. Yeah, or there's something. not a lot left. Yeah, Lexus. The Lexus they gave us really. Cool. They gave us one more year. I think it's going to be gone at the end of next is year. It? Maybe it's soon. Because you know they're going to do an F of the LC. I keep hearing that with yeah. turbos. On yeah, it. turbos, six hundred eighty horsepower. I mean that could be pretty awesome. It's going to be good. It's going to weigh forty five hundred pounds, but at that power, who cares? But that engine the way it is now. It's oh, perfect. by the way, real quick, since we're talking about ridiculous stuff, the new E sixty three, which on paper you couldn't even you couldn't even point to a difference uh uh-huh. is so good it's it's what if they just changed some random ass shit that you never would have thought body of? panels yeah it's it's stuff they didn't even put in the press release you know it's like it's like m bucks is different well, i've drifted a lot of cars in my time blah 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 it is it is the king you put that thing in drift mode you put it in rear wheel drive yeah and it's the new you got it like call michael it's r- probably got 50 50 weight distribution with the extra glass in the back right I don't Pretty think close. so. I, I, no, I'm sure it's like I'm sure it's like 55, 45. I'm sure uh-huh. it's not. It's just whatever they did. Like it's one of those things you you, you can't you can't point to. Yeah, it, but that was like new new Panamera Turbo, same thing. It was yeah. like uh, all the parts pretty much seem to be the same, and they're like we changed the the aft knuckle. Yeah, retainer, right. and you go, I, what? What is that? I don't even know what that is. And they go, it needed to be a millimeter smaller. And then all of a sudden, this thing fucking dances like a GT3 it's, RS. You go, uh, I guess that was the problem the whole time. It's so <laughs> funny. So they called me. They're like, we want you to drive this thing. And I'm like, you know, I just checked with everyone. Angus is actually driving one. Yeah, he's writing the review. And they go, no, we just want you to drive it because there was a purple one six years ago that you really liked. We think this one is as good as the purple one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I was like. Like you guys really pay attention because really I don't remember ever driving experience. I don't remember ever driving a purple <laughs> anything. But okay, sure, I drove a purple and like fucking a. I drove the same one you did. It was amazing, awesome. Yeah, it was so good. Was ama- like, and, and, and but it's like what they did with the Turbo S. Like like that car was the old Turbo S was basically perfect. It was yeah. a little duller than other Porsches, and they made it less dull. You know, it, so. the the Panamera was like. Fucking hell! I couldn't well, believe how if, fast if, it was. If you like the Panamera, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the E63 is the shit. All right. So I got to call now. I got to call Mercedes For back. Two cars, and we got to get the, the CLA, and we got to get this. The E63. And they have a wagon. They have like a purple wagon Fuck in yeah. LA. Oh, yeah. it's purple. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's exactly I haven't driven that. I drove the sedan. Exactly correct. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Seth says I'm looking for a new slash used SUV for thirty eight thousand dollars. Okay, a 2015 Macan S. 2014 X5M or a oh, 2013 that that? I thought he was ML, describing the wheels. ML63. Uh, Man, all of those I'd be like almost nervous to get into. So um, the Macan is a size down. Yes. Um, so if you care about size one way or the other. Rear you know? seat room. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and hauling stuff. Uh, 14 or 13. Ooh, boy. Uh, I you know it's a coin flip. I think the X5M is a little sportier, and the 63 is a bit punchier. Yeah, the 63 is your hot rod. Yeah, the X5M is your. Uh, That's a really good car. So it's really good. That's I ran really one in one car. lap of America and did very well. I would you know you could get but a, it's going to eat tires. <laughs> you could get a 14 X6M, which I think is the perfect compromise between all three of those. <laughs> And they're just way cooler, and you might be able to get that electric blue color. So that's, the Macan that, is the most agile. There's, um, a, Cobb, there's a Cobb tune for it. It's yeah, good. I did, my thing with them, I just I'm not a Macan fan. I like all other Porsches. That's just I all just right. feel like I'm in an Audi, and they put the seat on the they like <laughs> remove the, the the seat rails. And so you sit lo- lower. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all funny. it is. Uh, Zane says, uh, question: If you can invent a car to run on any uh, fuel in the world, what would you pick? He uh, said his would run on farts, <laughs> seawater. <laughs> I'm going to go with seawater. Hydrogen. It's the most abundant element in the universe. It is, but like, you got some hydrogen, Zach? I don't know. I don't have this hydrogen right now. a chicken right and now. egg thing, but it's coming. Yeah. Hydrogen's coming. I would uh, I would go with just straight up seawater and just yeah. salt, I th- I, salt. You're plenty see, of salt water. I think you're going to see soon, like, big rigs that are getting off diesel, because diesel's eventually going to go have to go away. It's hydrogen. You'll just never be able to get, like... Hydrogen a, makes sense for big rigs big to rigs. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I, I'd want to run hyperbole that's posted on social media. <laughs> I think it would be good. How about Matt and I fight about Teslas? <laughs> oh, man. We could have driven across the country. Uh, Jordan says, uh, what kind of car? No, I recently bought a Fiesta ST, of course. Nice. To replace my Z06 based on your many recommendations. Uh-oh. Despite <laughs> sketchy build quality, it's a fun place to wait for the C8 Z06. The C8 Z06 seems like it could be very good. It's going to be 
Yeah. I think I heard that in the spy video it. of that engine. I was like, oh Jesus, that's a it's that's like, a thing. It's like a Ferrari with balls. Yeah, that's a fucking <laughs> thing, isn't it? What's yeah. the timeline on that next year? Uh, you know, it's COVID, so funny maybe. with with GM like. Like Ford will leak shit, or they'll have like they'll they'll announce something, and you have to wait nine years for it. GM's just like, okay, it's Wednesday. Uh, there's a Z06. So it could be tomorrow. We learn everything. I have no idea. Um, so I think the next thing that's going to happen are the Black Wings, the Cadillac Black Wings, and then the Z06 comes. So those will be those will be like I think amazing because they're getting the old supercharged motor. And Greg wants a ni- an update oh. on the 914. If you have one, uh, I wish I had one. I, I got, I got, I got. So the wheels that I got, I bought and then had to refurb, and then it turned out that two of the wheels I bought were broken, so I had to buy two more. Oh no! The wheels I've now have spent seven times more on the wheels <laughs> than I have on the car oh, when no. I purchased the car. Yeah. Oh. But it's good, you know. It, it's one of those funny That's things where. Um, Are the wheels very special? No. <laughs> no. Are Not they one at of those all. in the rendering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down, go down, go down. Right. Bam. Yeah. yeah. So Which is it top? Is it? Uh, oh, top. yeah. It looks like the top. Okay. Yeah. Well, they're nice looking. Yeah. So they are uh, Mollies and uh, basically uh, Padrinos, I think they're called, were standard equipment from 70 to 72. The car is a 70. Is Molly the same piston company? M A H L E. Yeah, the I same company so. that makes pistons? Oh, yeah. I think so. I didn't know they made wheels. Ooh, I don't think they do anymore. But, anyways, so from 73 to 75, Molly's were factory. And um, there was exactly one set for sale on eBay. I bought it. Uh, of the of the four, two were broken. And <laughs> Wheel no. Enhancement by LAX happened to have two. Don't really? Because wow. they've been in business for 7,000 years, <laughs> and they sold them to me for, like, nothing, but Great. then I, I had to get everything fixed. And, and actually, they're, like, you know, they're, like, ceramic dipped and blah, blah, blah. You know, they're, they're cool. modern. Nice. And it's going to look cool. And I got a Vreda Stein is giving me tires, supposedly. Oh, perfect. From, is Garbo on that? Well, supposedly. I mean, I, 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 I called him and was like, these are the tires. Send them. And, like, I don't yeah. know. No one tells me anything. I've no. It's maybe it's that color now, and maybe it's been painted. I don't know. This is really it, this is what it's going to look like in the final form. Is really go, good. Go man. back yeah. one. Go back one. It, it looks it's awesome. Orange. It's got a white circle, like a number circle yeah. on the doors. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's uh, got uh, a back. meatball, a white, yeah. a white meatball. So or cue okay. Ball. So that top one now, if you're on YouTube, that's what it's going to look like. Except for the chrome bumpers are coming off, and they're being replaced by like Yellowbird style bumpers. So it's just like. Body color, body color painting with yeah. slashes in them. That'll look cool. Yeah, and then it's it's going crazy. The whole if I told you everything I'm doing in this car, you'd laugh at me. But it's like, <laughs> it's are just, you keeping the four cylinder engine for now? Okay, for now because that's as you know. If I put in more power, then mm-hmm. it's like the axles need to get upgraded, the brakes need oh, the transmission. Oh, yep. you know, and then, then it's just that's another forty thousand yep. dollars of of like little shit. So I'm oh, doing yeah. I'm doing probably twenty five thousand dollars of cosmetic stuff. But it's gonna be the coolest looking one, I think. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited about it. But I have no update because I don't know, three months ago, four <laughs> months ago, I saw it get dragged off to the paint shop. Don't know what's going on. And I'll, I'll send the guy, I'll, uh, Jack, if you're listening, I love you. I'll send him stuff like, hey, got the wheels. Hoping he'll be like, oh, that's a good thing you got the wheels because this is happening. And he'll write back like, cool. <laughs> you know, so I have no updates whatsoever. Um, some one of our commenters was, uh, was uh, 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 people were, oh, there's some folks that were like uh, yeah, play-by-playing our, our argument. Oh, there. nice. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a new one. So I there's know. a scoreboard function yeah. on this uh, software, <laughs> yeah. by the way, that um, Jay Ryan, a long ago, he's like, that's a scoreboard. I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm never going to use that. And he goes, you might use it one day. Did you put it on? I sure did. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I, I'm just hitting random numbers. Oh, really? That's hilarious. I didn't see you were doing that. That's funny. Who won? Uh, you sure were up Matt by won. three. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. It's based on it's, volume. Yeah. <laughs> it's Matt's show. It's Matt's show. He should win. Uh, all right. Al- uh, Ali Denshvar says, what, uh, why do very small percent of Americans go with dealer stock instead of ordering their own spec from the manufacturer? I love this. This is the best question ever asked on your show. Go ahead. Uh, since I've been here. I don't know. There's no good answer. Uh, I, I, um, <laughs> it's the best question I've ever asked. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, it, it, I, like I said, when i getting this alpha, the, yeah. the regional sales managers, you know, I'm like a, I guess they think of me as an influencer, so they want to make me happy, right? Um, they're like, we're just going to find you a car. Here's, here's one that's 90% of what you want. And I'm like, 
no, it's cool. I'm going to, I'd prefer to order one. Like, well, if you do that, you might wind up with a 21 instead of a 20, and uh, the price might go up like you know, $7. Yeah. And I'm like, it's okay. It's, okay. it's like, yeah. I want the car I want. And like, it's just American culture. But like, is there some crazy fact like 90% of Rolls Royces sold are bespoke, meaning yeah. customized in some way, and only 10% of American Rolls Royces are customized? Well, that's interesting. Because people, Weird the thing. thing now. But you just show up at a dealer like, what do you got? Yeah. Perfect. Mm-hmm. My yeah. father does that. My father doesn't like to order anything. He, he he wants to point, sign, and pretty much drive it home. Yeah. But like, and I think, I have a feeling, and this is a straight up guess. Okay. I have no evidence. I'm guessing that when Americans go to the dealer, the dealer indicates pretty early in the conversation that they are willing to haggle or or give you a better price on what's here. Sure, sure, Whereas sure. if you order, they'll do it, but no deals. I don't Full know. Boat. It c- could be that. I also think that the, the the shenanigans that American dealers are allowed to get away with are illegal in every other country in the world. That makes sense. Like, you can't buy any other product where there's four ways to fuck you. Even houses, that you, yeah. they don't do that to you. You go to a dealer, they'll fuck you on the price, they'll fuck you on the monthly payment, they'll screw you around with they interest rates. They can change rates. the price yeah. on, the, uh, on your contract without telling you later, and then you sign it, and then they charge you more. Which is that, I'm sure Are that happens. Really? My friend worked at Nissan at a... Yeah. dealership and he's like it was twisted yeah um, they also said they could change it later and if you don't catch it you just sign yeah. it yeah <laughs> you're, but you're and then, and then they, it's actually it's a thing called Foursquare so it, it's, it's price of the car yeah, monthly remember, payment yeah. uh, interest rate and then trade in value yeah. and they can fuck it and cause the, people are like I won't pay more than 300 a month no matter what so they fucking and so the play de- with the, the numbers dealers until, love that yeah. they're like oh okay well your trade in is seven dollars it's yeah. like well wait, wait a second you know so like that just doesn't happen yeah and then the, the whole finance department where it's like you need undercoating you know you, your insurance rates will go down if you get yeah. a, a, a oh, you're gonna want that undercoat you're gonna want that undercoat yeah <laughs> So I think that like, was a good that was a good William H Macy's act. So I, I think it. Americans <laughs> delay <laughs> going to the dealer because like for everything else you might window shop, right? You know, and it's like I'm just looking. If you say that at any other store in the, back when there were stores, remember that? At any other store in the world, you can actually window shop and yeah. they'll kind of leave you alone. De- forget it, car dealer. You'll have seven thousand salesmen, and they you know they see you as a victim, potential victim. So I think I think it's it's just a cultural thing with America and Europe. Yeah, you know, and And also American dealerships tend to have a pretty big inventory. Oh, we got a lot of space. Yeah, you go to Europe, you see a car dealership. They got three cars. They got five, six cars. That's it. Yeah. So they have. You can see one. Yes, this is this is the new Citroen Saxo. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you want one in blue? We're going to order That's it for you. That's a great point. You know? Our dealerships, like Dealer Row, it's yeah. like here's every manufacturer in the entire yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. So you can get 90%. Yeah. You, then they go, yeah, well, this one's 90% of what you wanted. And you right, go, right. and they go, and I'll make a deal on it. But if you want 100% of what you wanted, you know, no not no deal. But I think it's that the, the experience for most people is so unsavory yeah. that they just want it done as quick. Because ordering means you'd have to do it twice, right? Yeah. You have to show up and then go get fucked uh-huh. to, like six months later. Uh-huh. But like also, you know, like like in you know, you've been to Auto Stadt, uh, the Volkswagen, you know, amusement park. Oh yeah. So like, you know, you order your car and it's in this big glass jukebox thing, you yeah. know, and it's like and this robot grabs it and like, you know, it's, it's you, you you fly to Wolfsburg or take the train to Wolfsburg to pick up your car and it's an event and there's a museum and it's awesome. You've been to car dealerships. I mean, they're just it's just it's not so awesome. You no know, you know, one wants to go. I know. know. Like like I don't mind buying a car cuz I know what I'm I think I I know what I'm doing. Let's yeah. just, you know. No, I, it's, even for me, it's like a, ugh, fine. Kind of <laughs> goes back to what Zuckerman said about how defense lawyers have like five minutes of fight. Yeah. Like you're, the, you're on the defense. <laughs> yeah. You walk yeah. in there and they start hammering yeah, on and you. And you're like, your, ah, after your five minutes, minutes yeah. you're like, what's it going to take for me to fucking sign this? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 It takes 90 minutes to do paperwork for a fucking reason. Uh, polar Bia. Mm. That might be beer. I might have deleted it. I don't polar know. <laughs> Corolla <laughs> hybrid or CHR hybrid? Uh, Corolla hybrid. I think Corolla hybrid. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. Corolla hybrid. I'd say stay away from that CHR, if it's uh, the thing I'm thinking of. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the thing that you can't yeah. quite define. Yeah, it hey, look co- like a car. Corolla hybrid, the new Corolla, you know, not as... The new Corolla's kind of nice. Not terrible. Yeah, no, the new Corolla's like kind of nice, actually. Yeah, it is kind of nice. I'm kind of into yeah. it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, John P. says, I was set on a BMW M2, and then I drove a Shelby GT350. Is it possible to get over Mustang build quality for the Voodoo engine? Sure. Yes. I think it's awesome. Yeah. You know? 
I, I mean, think if you really stood back, if you really went material for material, the differences between the Mustang and the BMW are a little less than you think. Also, is I mean, he's just talking M2, not competition. So I think if it was M2 competition, that maybe changes the equation. But like, fuck, you could have a over 500, 526 horsepower V8 with a manual. Like, I mean, what? Uh, just get that. Just that's going. I would away. go Shelby. Yeah. Having spent time in both, I would get the Shelby. Yeah. Although, again, the M2 Comp is like, mm, I, I can see the argument. The M2 Comp didn't do it for me. Huh? Uh, Chesles uh, says, "Have we been to the Bonneville Salt Flats?" <laughs> yes. He topped a rental Charger there out at 120. Nice. I did a green Tiger Stripe prototype. AMG GTS, I did 193. Nice. Yeah. I, w I drove a Jetta 211 <laughs> miles an hour oh, yeah. and pulled a shoot. Oh, no. oh was, you had a shoot? Yeah, oh. it was awesome. I just I was with uh, Tobias, who's now the CEO of Aston Martin. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, it was fun. Yes, the Salt Flats is amazing. It's it's a beautiful, it's beautiful cool. place. It's, it's also cool. like super dangerous. Kind of know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I, I, had a, like, a, I had like one of those salt people that was yeah. there. Oh. You know, I, I love that you said that because that it's hard. I, I tried to write about this and I realized it's just impossible without like an actual anthropological study. <laughs> salt but people. the fucking yeah. salt people yeah. are the we like it's the weirdest culture in the world. It only exists in this 12 mile space. <laughs> but, <laughs> it's like, but it's like how you're like, oh, we discovered a tribe in the Amazon that has no contact with someone other people. really should do a study of the salt people. Yeah. It, they're incredible. Like the people, I was like, I was like, are you fucking every every third thing that come out of this dude's mouth? I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, yeah. oh, this, yeah, in '89, I went, uh, I went 294 miles an hour here in a Thunderbird. I'm yeah. sorry, what? Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> I, I was this guy. I, I I hope he's still alive, but he was like in the '70s, about 10 years ago, when I was hanging out with him. And like Kenny Baker, I think his name was. He looked like Elvis if he was still alive. He had like the pompadour, the cyber, like like sh white, you know, just all of this checks out. Yeah, and. I'm like, talk, you know, he's got 40 records, right? <laughs> he's got 40 fucking land speed records. And I'm like, what's the fastest you ever gone, you know, Kenny? He goes, uh, I think I went 390. I'm like, <laughs> wow. When was that? Last year. <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, that one was weird because, you know, something went wrong and suddenly the whole cabin filled up with smoke. It was like black smoke. I'm like, fuck, Kenny, what'd you do? He's like, I slowed down to 90 and jumped out. <laughs> and, I'm, and this oh guy's like God. mid seventies. I'm like, what? He's like, well, I would have died if I stayed in there. I'm like, just all casual. And he was like, super Mister Lady Killer. What'd like, you do? Tuck and roll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but we're, we're, dude, we're we're at the casino because you know you stay in. Oh, in, Wendover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wendover. <laughs> where a drag queen once told me like, oh yeah, Wendover, where where Mormons run across the border to yell shit. And, <laughs> Uh, anyways, when we're at the casino in Wendover, and Kenny is like, for breakfast, he's hitting on the waitress. As if a breakfast waitress, like, it's not even like you've had a few drinks at night. It's like, the, the you know, all race car it's drivers, like, but the breakfast waitress ain't going to fuck you, Kenny. And he's like mid-70s. It was um, unbelievable. He's like James Hunt of Wendover, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Isaiah, you're a G. He's, he's, he's commenting on our, on our banter on Tesla. Oh, God. No catalytic converters on a Gulf Stream. That's what we really need to know. About. <laughs> and then Corey Burns. That's it. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Is there more? Oh, shit. Is there more? Keep going. Oh, Isaiah really kept going. Yeah. Point to Johnny. Point to Farah. Yeah. Uh, that, California I, 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 energy I, 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 is not 87% green. Half of it's natural gas. No. All right. I don't think that's true. But Isaiah right. really seems to know what he's talking about. <laughs> more nukes. We need more Thank nuclear you. power. Thank you, sir. Right. That was fun. That, that was, was fun. a fucking show. Yeah. Love having you down here, bro. That was fun. Boy, it's been did we too get long. through a half a bottle. Of we went through $7. <laughs> we just drank seven whole dollars if of bourbon. If you look more closely, that's like $6.50. Yeah, we're going to have to weigh it. <laughs> <laughs> Bottled in bond. Hey, man. It's good shit. Bro. I like it. The brown. Oh, it's yeah, the that's best. good. It's, I'll hook you up it's with good. my guy. It's not even going in my locker. It's going right on the counter. Yeah. For I'll, everybody. I'll hook you up with my guy. This could be your well drink this here. This could be you know? the guy. <laughs> I love it. I feel yeah, like Yamaha, Yamaha could run a commercial and be like, our compressors can handle whiskey conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Between these two assholes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Two Jews arguing. The Nothing's better. Really. Jews. That's really what podcasting is about. Really. They just... invented it for this, in fact. <laughs> Yo, thanks for joining us today. It was great. We are, uh, yeah. That's it. We're going to fucking go home. Zach's going to drive me. <laughs> yep. Not only is uh, am I drunk, but... Uh, Cigars. I don't, I don't, oh, we're going to have a cigar we first while, while Zach this. exports this shit and uploads yeah. it. Yeah. Yo, thanks for listening. Johnny Lieberman is at Motor Trend. Best driver's car is coming up. Coming up. We got 
SUV car truck of the year Put coming there, up. Say it there. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's, <laughs> that's six dollars and fifty cents. It's a radio cents. show. Hey, leave me alone. All right. Uh, yeah, we got everything coming up. But really, just follow me on Instagram. That's the that's the best way to to look at shit happening. There it is, Johnny yeah. Lieberman on Instagram. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Good to see you. And thank fun. thank you for all of this uh, all of this bottles. Oh yeah, all of your bottles are appreciated. Yeah. Be I, they big or small. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd like this one. This is good. Yeah. No, this is this would be. You know what this would be? This would be a Carl Ruiz approved drink. Would it? It would. I'd rather drink crumbs with bums than steaks with snakes. Mm. That's what that's what Carl would say. I'd rather have crumbs with bums than steaks with snakes. Carl would love this. I uh, yeah. Dude, it tastes good. I, it's it killer. And again, yeah. it, it's you, the, the again the problem with it. Well, first of all, my friend Bill's gonna probably kill me because the price would probably go up to sixteen <laughs> bucks a bottle. And, but inflation. Uh, yeah. But. <laughs> You can't get it. It just doesn't. It doesn't exist like outside of Kentucky. I love something that's not expensive. Yeah, but that you just can't get. Regional. See that I love. That's like that's my favorite. Like no, I, I don't have this because I'm a boss. Right. I just have this because I know a guy that you don't fucking know. So what we should that's do is delightful. we'll create we'll create a secondary market for it, and then we'll do like Smokey and the Bandit. We'll smuggle we it back from Kentucky. Label it? Yeah. yeah, we should. It's a good it's a good reason for us to take the Lexus LCF. Ooh. Oh yeah, from Kentucky right. to California. I'd get and see, and leather jackets. What if we put a screaming chicken on the hood of an LC? <laughs> you know, I did. You know, I did that beer run with that Cadillac right. CTSV, and I bought a screaming chicken decal. Did you? And I just didn't have the heart to put it on because I was like. I just got the cars brand new. Then we should do it with the LCF. That'd be sweet. Well, you want? I think you want a bigger. You want something that can haul more right. whiskey. You want like the yeah. RS6. I think that's oh, RS6. RS6 would be that's appropriate. That's the car. That's that the would car. Be appropriate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's cool. a good place to end. And then I'll tell you about a real distillery you should go to across the street from this place mm. and get you some good shit. Don't give it away. I won't. Keep it off record. I won't. There it is. Thanks, everybody. That's our show. <laughs> See you fuckers next time. Bye.